God dang it, I'm gonna kick your ass with the power of my stand. Propane nightmare. <laughs> Good morning. Hi, Marie. <laughs> you haven't been here since we've had that. <laughs> You can thank Suwako for that. I thought it was stupid, and then I listened to it twice, and I'm like, alright, this is pretty hilarious. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. <laughs> Just finished your burrito? I didn't make you choke on the burrito, did I? I hope you savored it and didn't spew it. Uh, good morning, Harry. Marie, good to see you guys. This is a weird day for me. you just been dead of the world? That's okay. I appreciate you coming. A lot of people have been... seem to be going through those times, and... Frankly, including myself and my own health, so. Um. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Excellent. When the what's, when the what's hit. <laughs> it's, it's, it just feels like that meme, when the what hits. That boy ain't right. Anyone else smell today's garbage? Um. Yeah. I'm a bit dizzy today. I uh, we have construction happening in my area, and now they're around my uh, my uh, window, so I'm waking up like shaken. On top of that, I gotta figure out when to drink my rice protein and my GI Restore, because now I'm falling asleep before finishing the GI Restore, which is not good because that means I drink it in the morning and that doesn't sit well. You're supposed to drink it and then let it sit overnight. Um, but also, I'm just really dizzy because I keep waking up in the middle of the night, and then the construction wakes me up, and then I'm waking up at like 10, 30, 11 because I don't feel rested. So, um, kind of surprised I'm here today, but I just felt like I don't know what else I'd be doing today if I didn't stream. I'm not really doing anything too intense. I was going to go help my, uh, my friend with her music for the, for the wedding, but instead we're going to do some Pokemon. Um, Yeah. Eating my rice here. I put some chicken in because I'm like, I figured I'm partially malnourished, <laughs> I guess. I'm real. I'm really start. I feel bad because I, I, I actually considered like maybe I could try going back on the elliptical body weight exercises, doing my stretching again. I just have this. There's there's a mental block that I'm trying to work through and a, and a giant physical block at the moment where I just feel very lethargic and very weak because, look, I didn't eat many vegetables, but I can't believe even the 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 little amounts of vegetables that I ate made a huge difference with my energy. Like, even just having vegetables for dinner, and now the most I can have is green beans here and there. Um, the rice protein's not carrying enough. I'm, I'm, I'm really starting to feel the, the meat, <laughs> the meat grain diet that I'm on. So I'm hoping to get those results <laughs> from my doctor as, as quick as the results can come in. Just making sure I haven't missed it. Yeah. But hope you guys are doing well. It's a Friday. Uh, it's looking like a beautiful day. Hoping it's going to be a beautiful weekend. My sister is out in Vegas for her Bachelor Bachelorette celebration with the bridal parties. I didn't have the money nor the um, rave enthusiasm to go out there for their giant festival. So, if you're out in Vegas and you notice someone who doesn't look like my sister because we don't look similar, um, say hi. But don't be weird about it. Yeah. Alright. Let's get back to this. This run. <laughs> this run is an ass disaster. I don't think there's any nicer way of saying it. This run has fallen apart at the seams from draft, from just receiving my random pokes. We have not had the strongest roster of lads, and yet those roster of lads have simultaneously brought us to the end game of this new block. Uh, for those who have forgotten, oh yeah, I was gonna pin the new block. For those who have forgotten, this is the run where we have to list, we have to ask for advice about what run, about what ma uh, moves we will take. And we have learned the AI is designed to be as aggressive as possible, make you unlearn all of the status moves, skip status moves, and then proceed to replace only 
weaker moves with stronger moves. Which has put us in precarious situations and made us think very interestingly about how we've approached runs. Shout out to the Drizzile with Mystic Water literally sent to die in order for us to get through Iono. Now, there's nothing wrong with us looking at it. Yeah, it's incredibly smart. Absolutely designed by the best Pokemon player in the universe. I would like to believe that this run has been very fun in the sense that it has made me think about scenarios of sacrifice similar to some of the harder runs that we've done on the channel before. So I can appreciate that we have been put into these scenarios to answer very low odds and very unlikely victories. I would also love it if this was in a game that didn't take six hours to reset if I died. <laughs> so <laughs> I'd be okay with it if this was a chat lock and you guys reset me in crystal or reset me in heart gold or reset me in white. Resetting me in Scarlet is pulling teeth, and we haven't reset yet, and we're looking not to reset. Propane pipes pop properly when Piggy paints purple petals on them. Okay, propane pipes pop properly when Peggy paints purple petals on them. Propane pipes pop properly when Peggy paints purple petals on them. Propane pipes pop properly when Peggy paints purple petals on them. Thank you. I haven't had one of those in a while. The, I will say, the the paints was the toughest part there, and I'm not sure what would le I guess there's a lot of PRO, and then the PE translates into the pants. I wanted to say pants instead of paints. Propane night! <laughs> yeah. Why would Piggy paint purple petals on them, though? Wait, was that actually brought by Chad G? Oh, man. Did you just AI me in an AI run? I hate you. I don't. Um... That Hank Hill would say. Oh dear God. All right, hold on. I think there's a. Is there a quick job? No. Okay. So we're just gonna take the time here. I'm eating my breakfast, and um, we're just gonna be grinding for a bit. Essentially, what we're dealing with at this time, we have four Pokemon. We have a Galarian Meowth. We have a Sprigatito, a Spupa, and a Mareep. We have Kofu, Mela, Giacomo, Orthworm and Bombardier to take down. That's it. Plus the whatever trainers are forced with those fights. We need to be... so careful with how we navigate this. I'm pretty sure these are all my catches too. This is all I have left. The XP and the navigation on how we approach this dare I say, needs to be flawless. Near flawless. It's Pokemon, after all. We can get lucky, and we kind of did by not getting paralyzed on the Iono fight. But we need to put in some... huge work. I don't know what I'm doing here. Please don't kill me. I'm just trying to find things I can beat up. Where am I right now? I don't even know where I am. That's a Persian... Mastiff, what can I... Oh, yeah, we were beating up um, Psydux. Right. We're in the level 13 area. We can beat up an Ackley. I'm going to heal just in case we can. Endless supply of tongue twisters. Fair enough. So how are you guys doing? What's What's been going on with you since yesterday? Had a very fun time with uh, ship with Sheet of Fools last night. Unfortunately, uh, they have a lot to... Oh, my God, this guy's level 16. They have a lot that they have to fix. Yeah, this is not playing flawlessly. This is how I lose the run. They have a lot to fix. There's just some really weird lag going on with the game, but... Overall, very fun time. If you're going to indulge the AI overlords, Harry, if you, um, if you want to post me a tongue twister, can I tell you who I'd like to see it from? Just so I can say, like, a tongue twister Jim Carrey would do? Or, like, Sean Connor? I just want to see. I just want to, like, you know, as much as I hate the AI, I want to see what the hell they would actually build. I just, I just want to see how their minds work. Where's that? How do I even get... 
Is this how you get here without cheating? Because I, I hopped over the water. Wait, you want a prompt now? Oh, I don't think I've ever been under this. I don't remember this. Alcove. Oh, that's very fair. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's like tax and money time. The one time we're talking about money is the stress... Why the f... That was ten Hondu berries. What? Is that even po... Ten berries in one location? That? I've never seen more than three. And that was usually like under trees. That's interesting. I've definitely never been here. I wonder if that was a bug they left in. Or if this is like Hondu Valley. Heh, <laughs> get it? It's like Stardew, but Hondu. Kami, what's up, man? Good to see you. Good afternoon. Right on time for noon. I'm hacking. Clearly, I've never been here either, so I'm hacking without even knowing what I'm doing. Typical beta tester. What the hell is this? Where is this? Oh, I've been here before. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've been here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so maybe I just never went that way. I've never seen ten berries, though. I'll pull this. I won't like it, though. Or say, but I don't know what level these guys are in here. I don't want to take the risk. We do have... Polka dolls. All right, Marie. Be brave. I'll try and entertain you the best that I can from this side. By singing famous Disney songs. Something, something, kiss the girl. Got you. There you go. See? That's the rest of your day. I hope you enjoy. No, you're at 3 million again because I put. I, you can thank Officer. He went back and tried to salvage as many. Um, as many things as possible to get for chat. So he saved like 20, 25 people's chat numbers. So. When you see Officer, give him a, a, a lovely. Well, he already deserves it, but, you know. Give him a lovely thank you. Is that a shiny Gyarados out there? Dragonair. Oh, oh, you guys are scary. Excel is calling your name. I love Excel. That's where I build my games in. Oh, I'm definitely in a place I'm not supposed to be. Oh, yeah. This is... Area 6, there's no way I catch anything here. This is death. We leave. This is near Alfornado, right? Yep. Yeah. Alfornado. Alright, let's go back to... Uh, we're, just looking, we're just looking for more Psyducks and Nackleys and stuff like that. Sure, um... Build me... A tongue twister, please. That Ash Ketchum would say. It's gonna be something with Pikachu. take these guys out until we get a little bit higher level. So I think we're aiming around level 21. Ash catches countless cute creatures carefully carrying them to the closest center. Does he does he carefully carry them because he sucks? Don't care. He's a champion. I can't shit talk a champion anymore. Man's earned his retirement at age 12. Lucky bastard. This might as well just be a YouTuber. Minecraft YouTuber, to be precise. It's true. It won't go on the Pokeball. I mean, frankly, would you want your 
Would you want to be digitized and shoved into something? Okay, let's see what the AI says about quick attack. Scratch? Attaboy. All right, all right. We got something going. You have brains. Oh, yeah, I was going to check. I forgot. I was going to check and see what it says. Am I getting Pavilion already? Ooh. Excellent. All right. The villain. Fancy pattern. All right, here we go. So we're going to see what happens if I uh, do this. So we're going to do this. It's going to say get rid of string shot. Yeah, it says protect. Huh. Well, it said string shot first, so thanks, AI. I guess we do have stun spore. That is fascinating. Jim Carrey carried caricatures of characters cavorting carelessly and causing chaos. Wow, cavorting. I haven't seen that word in a long time. Dang, that one's actually tough. Jim Carrey carried caricatures of characters cavorting carelessly and causing chaos. That was fun, though. That was fun to say. That rolls so well. I hate you, chat GPT. Stop being a smooth criminal. What would be a Michael Jackson? What's a Michael ja Is it going to be Annie? <laughs> Annie, smooth criminal, bad. I guess the good thing that I could use ChatGPT for is if I want to practice a particular sound like SH or ST, which are the two that two or TH, ST and SH kind of burn me a lot. I guess it would be good for it to design strings of words. To help practice those sounds. For the record, I, I'm okay with the AI. I just don't like how far AI is going into the direction of it taking over from other people, you know what I mean? I just don't want AI to become the thing. I like people serving my burgers, not AI. Moonwalking Michael Jackson masters memor mesmerizing moves making music magical. Not a boy. I'm glad the AI has taste. That's because the people who designed them have taste. Good job, designer of ChatGPT. Alright, now we get, um... A Florigato? Crushing everybody's dreams by once again making a bipedal cat Pokemon. I mean, when you think about it, evolution would dictate becoming bipedal would be better. Technically. So at least they're scientifically accurate. Unless you maintain the spine of a cat, in which case, being on all fours wouldn't be the worst thing in the universe. I'd like to be able to shrink my body like a mouse and just squeeze under, you know, three centimeter wide spots. Like, truthfully. Uh, we do have rare candies. Okay. Wants to learn Psybeam. What are we learning it over? Kept Stun Spore. This is promising. 19. Oh, it's going to save us a lot of time. Oh, God. What are we doing? Growl. We're forgetting charge? But we're going to learn this over Growl. Watch. Over Tackle? Okay, game. Okay. 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 We're also getting Flaffy. Oh, I did evolve it a little bit. A little bit too high, didn't I? That's okay. I don't think we missed out on moves. 
Not that it's gonna matter. Technically, I believe Ampharos is a level 30 Eva. We could get it to 30 and just bring it to Kofu. We could. We could very well do the Level 20. Alright, this is actually going to save us from having to do too much. Oh, please give us this. Go over Quick Attack. AI. Give it up for AI! What do you mean, no trackers? Oh, sorry. Okay, so we have... Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't put it up because, like, between the Titan badges and everything else, Pokolink tracks the badges, but it's not going to tell you what this run is. So we have... I'll, I'll, I'll post this so you can you can take a look at the numbers. So what we have left is Kofu. That is the final level limit that we have, which is 30. But we don't we, we could just go beat Kofu, but because of the nature of this game being incredibly short, where we literally do like seven fights to finish the run, we have to do everything that goes up to level 30. So that means from Team Star, we have to beat Giacomo and Mela. From the Titans, we still need to beat Bombardier and Orthworm, and then we have Kofu. So we have five final challenges, which comes with about, other than two-part fights, we're looking at about seven battles, eight battles left, maybe nine. I can't remember if, uh, I don't think, I don't think Nimona fights me until Larry. So I think we got about nine fights, eight or nine fights, seven to nine fights, something like that. Because we gotta go fight the, the two guys at Kofu's uh, market as well. So, we actually just finished grinding, so we'll be able to do this much quicker. I just realized, I'm like, oh, we have TM, so we can just use these. Uh, we are gonna get to level 21. No. Funny you should mention that. Wants to learn Super Sonic. Do you, though? No, you don't. Alright. It's a good call. It's because I complimented Chad GPT. Now the game's like, oh, so you're on my side now. Shh, don't tell him. <laughs> Alright, so now we've got our, our levels, actually. So let's actually go do some of this. Hmm. Let's go level 22. Let's go level 22 and fight Giacomo first, because I want Flaffy to fight Bombardier, but I'm pretty sure Bombardier gets Mud Bomb. I want to be a little bit tankier before we fight that, but I also don't want to just go all in with the rare candies and then gain too much XP in time for Kofu, because I also need Flaffy for Kofu. And we need it for Mela. We have Flaffy, believe it or not, Office Sheep is our sort of requirement for three of these challenges. Orthworm is a Flora Gat... No, it's a Steel type, so that's gonna be... Huh, nothing. We have nothing for it, actually. Oh, boy. That's kind of scary, because that has Rock, too, I believe. Or does it have Rock? I know it has Ground. That's gonna be a tough one to hit. We'll have to take a look at TMs that we have. Maybe go farm for some TMs. Maybe we can get Fire Fang for Flora Gato if we can learn it. That'd be good. Doesn't matter. It's got like three grass moves and a dark move. Whatever it takes out, the fire's gonna win it for us. Floragato can also be used for Kofu. Um, we just gotta be careful of Crabominable. Make sure we're faster than it so that we can hit it with Seed Bomb when it turns into a water type. Now we know a Terrastalize will prioritize. Doesn't matter on speed. Because I pseudo forgot that detail. And don't remember. Pseudo? Kind of forgot that detail. Ooh, 
Ooh, Blaze, how you doing? Blaze a Dusk. You changed your name. What die are we rolling? And for what cause? Tired? Dizzy. Unite. D20 proficiency check. I don't know what you're proficient in, but you have an 8, so it's not the, uh, not the most convincing middle of the tier. Probably will buy a magnet for, well... Actually, I'm gonna give you the Quick Claw. We can get a Miracle Seed for Florigato. I could also give it a Hasty Mint. Excuse me. Yeah, we'll worry about... Well, no, we should probably go get that now. Uh, that was in Mezagoza, if I recall. Miracle Seed was over here? Good to see you nonetheless, man. Hope you've been well otherwise. We do have Muscle Band. We could also just buy it and be a little more... Direct. 10% increase? No, we want 20%. Ooh. We do want 20%. We're live outside of work, eh? Glad to hear it. Yeah, we're just gonna Miracle Seed. This 20% increase in the damage is just gonna be better for us at the moment. Uh, do I want this guy back on the team? The answer is yes. So the three that are gonna fight, the Dark Types, is going to be... These three. You first, though. You two first. Yeah, it's going to be these three. And then are we going to lead with... This is not a new run, actually. This is the survive. This is the run that survived, Kami. We uh, we got pushed down to just Galarian Meowth after Iono. And we've slightly rebuilt with the remainder of our catches that we can feasibly get. So. Do we want to lead with... Maybe I want to... Mm. Dark Pokemon. Dark Pokemon. Man, it's going to be so tricky. We don't really have... Because is this is the, I can't remember is this is the you you know what I kind of am too that we kept this alive. Like I was saying, it's cool because I don't want runs to just coast, and this run has forced me to think about almost like the sacrificial way that I have to win this. So, okay, his Star Mobile is just Dark type, Snarl Swift, Metal Sound, Wicked Torque. And he leaves with a poniard. You can't actually do anything to it. Do we have any TMs to enhance with here? We have a lot of expendable moves. I don't mean to tell the AI that, but here we are. Low kick? Low kick would be good, actually. Pounce would be great, but that's a physical attack. Fire spin, poison tail. Across swift. Draining Kiss is a special attack and would be good. Yeah, that might actually be helpful. Air Cutter would be a cool attack to learn. Volksvich. Metronome Spike, Substitute Tailwind. Um, maybe we go Draining Kiss here. You will have to learn it. Over tackle? They're speaking my language. Now we're stronger. Okay, draining kiss is great. 
Let's also, for this, because Orthworm is going to be a problem too, Low Kick has extraordinary value. We also have two Low Kicks, so if for some reason Floragato decides Low Kick sucks. Gets rid of Leafage? Alright, now we're actually rolling in some decent movesets here. Okay, good. Low Kick, we're going to save in case Floragato outlearns it. Ice Fang can't be learned yet. Charm can be useful in a couple of scenarios here. Uh, we could probably teach that over to... Well, that'd be, that's a tough one. We'll have to see how that goes. But we do have some answers, which is great. I have not touched Unite in months, Blaze. I want to go back, but I'm really disappointed in how the game is developing. It's it's really it's really off putting for me, and I miss and I I, I miss it, but also I. <sighs> I don't like parting ways with games that I have those feelings about. I'm just not happy with their direction. And it's not even because, like, I can't get Masters easily. It's just I don't like the way the game is going. Writing a paper, not trying to fall asleep. Well, you know what will keep you awake? If Harry is still around and finds you a tongue twister... If it was written by Samuel Jackson. <laughs> Dwarvish tongue twist? Oh, geez, I didn't even think of that. What would the famous elf, or a famous dwarf, say? Sam six six sisters swore they saw Samuel Jackson swimming swiftly southwards on a sunny Sunday in Santa Monica. <laughs> I want to hear him say that. Well, as long as you're finding it relaxing, Blaze. I probably would too. I just don't. I just don't feel like playing it. Right. Thick as a brick, quick as a pick. The dwarves dig deep in the earth so thick. With hammers in hand and sweat on their brow, they work all day without any chow. Wow, that even rhymes. That's incredible. Thick as a brick, quick as a pick. But picks are only as quick as someone makes them. Oh. What if your last pick, like in, like in sports, I was? All oh, those classes with dodgeball where they were disappointed that they didn't pick me because I would never get hit. I would stall class until class was done. They'd be all pissed off. Like, we gotta go to the lockers. Just lose already. No. Please help, I suck. Go get him. Please help, I suck. DFFUU? Is that Dungeon Fighter Online? Dwarf Fortress Fighting? It's uh, over. I don't know. Raphael got the Venom symbiote. Oh. Oh, Dissida Final Fantasy. Dang. Is that its actual name? I just know it as Dissida. Dissida Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. Anything spicy happened lately? This run's been in the dumpster. I've been in the hospital a few days here and there for the past two months, please. Um, otherwise, you know. We're up to day 30, we'll be on day 32 the next time we do it of the 40 days of 
Rogan Randomizer Marathon. Which can still be, uh... Which can still be extended with people's donations. You kids are the worst. Oh, that's a problem. I can't hit that for super effective. But I can drain and kiss it. Oh, it's fairy, right. Uh, 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 that was, in fact, a lot of damage. Hasta la vista. I believe in us. Hey. Thick as thieves, those dwarves with the beards, tinkering with hammers, forging swords and spears, digging deep in the mines for gems and gold so dear. Dwarves are a study a sturdy folk, never showing fear. It is. It's just writing music. Nope, not those guys. These guys. Good enough. Close enough. Oops. Decent. You might struggle with that one. You're going to struggle with these guys. Yeah, that was spooky.
I love how stupidly amazing this is. It's so good. Hey, Suwaka, what's going on? Please help, I suck, was it? This music's so good! I didn't do anything. It's great. I love it. I knew he had it. I knew he had it. Okay. Okay, so. Aerial Ace. We might have to just Thundershock this and then Thunder Wave Rev Room. How's everyone today? I'm a little dizzy, but otherwise I'm okay. Me, me head bobbing's not gonna help, but here we are. What does it have? Wicked Torque, Snarl, Metal Sound, and Swift. Okay. Let's get through this guy first. But yeah. Got him. Jack. Rev of Room. Oh, am I not able to status the Starmobiles? Or did I just miss? They're immune to status as well. Oh, shit. Huh. All right. Neat. Didn't know that. Um. Okay, Wicked Torque. Wicked Torque, Snarl, Swift, Metal Sound. We just, we don't want to get hit by, uh, we don't want to get hit by minus two. We don't want to start taking too much damage if we can't heal. That's fine. Like, we'll take that okay. It's not comfortable, but we'll take it. Now, can I flinch this? I'm about to find out. I don't think it could be affected by this. Yeah. Ouch. I had no idea Wicked Torque actually sleeps you. I'm learning so much today. Oh my god. What the hell? These fights are hard. Not supposed to be. I, I also have like a really weak team, but here we are. Hey, Liz. How you doing? Welcome to amazing music, not an amazing run. Please leave my cat alone. Please stop running over my cat. That's my face. Oh, you kinked your neck? Oh, no. 
Between the time we talked and now? Oh, crap. Alright, we're gonna... Yeah, Metal Gear it. Metal Gear it? Metal Claw it. It's too basic to get about Jack. This is not going well. Remember, these things have infinite power points, can't be statused. Or, like, affected in any way. I almost want a Trailblaze, actually. Unless he does that, then we get out. That's okay. This thing's really heavy. It should get blasted, right? I just realized this is a very cat team. Alright, low kick should do a ton of damage because these things are heavy. Get him. You're faster than me? What the shit? Really? Oh, you're not that heavy. Oh my god. I didn't expect this to be the trouble fight. But here we are. Twenty-four plus twelve is thirty-six. We do not die to a crit. <sighs> we do die if he does that. Okay. Um. We're going to take a couple of turns to heal everybody here, just so they can switch back into Wicked Torques. Starting with Meowth. That doesn't matter. At least you get to listen to this music a bunch. Glad we ran around and grabbed items. <sighs> That's good, actually. It's 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 not the worst thing because we got the two heals off before he did this. If he did this while I was healing, it would have been awkward. But we did get the heal, so now I can actually switch back into Florigato. And I can use Florigato to heal people? No, because Meowth can take the hit and I can still full heal with Super Potion. A miss is spectacular. If only I had Quick Attack. Right, video game? Actually, I think Seed Bomb might have been doing more damage this whole time. When I saw the power of Slow Kick, I should have just Terrasalized Seed Bomb. Hindsight's 2020, as always. I don't want Mousy to get the full XP. So we're gonna go to Off a Sheep. Take the hit, sheep. You got this. Hey, there we go. AI strikes again. That's one of five challenges down. Not comfortably, but it's down. Don't get XP for this? I thought we did. Then we get to see all the sad stories, which we care about usually, but you know, we're sort of motoring right now.
The best part about Pokemon is I could just push A and off to talk and you guys have background noise. Isn't that great? Would you guys believe in high school I used to hang out with, like, the kids like this who, like, separated from the school and, like, go to the smoking section and things like that? I'd never go to the smoking section, but I'd be like, I'll meet you guys after. Didn't like the smell of the smoke, but... Not just anything, like, bad about the kids, or I'm just saying, like, I used to hang out with multiple different cliques in high school, and one of them was, like, the Russian Mafia clique. <laughs> I was in with the Russian... I was in with the Russian crowd. Because it was a very Italian school, but we had a lot of, um... A lot of rush, like we had a we had a large Russian community, cliques, uh, C L I Q U E S. Like 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 the jocks, the the emo, like stuff like that, where you put people into like groups based on their likes. Obviously, I was part of the nerds. Somewhat, I knew people from the anime club, but I hung out with jocks. I hung out with preps. No, I'm not getting impressions, Kami. Sorry, I'm not getting the clicks. Not recently, anyways. So do I not get experience for that? That's good to remember. I, there's there's just certain details I don't remember about these things. But that's good, because that means I can now go to Bombardier at level 22 and probably be okay. Probably. You were the same, You hung out with like a bunch of different people? I just had a lot of friends in different places, right? Grade 1 to 3, I was a bully. Grade 4, the bullies that moved to schools with me, they started bullying me to assert dominance. That's when I became the sad and lonely kid. Then I met my friends in grade 7, and, and things got a little better. And now I'm dating one of them. Oh, you're in drama! Yeah, the drama kids were great. So, they, 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 it was weird, though, because, like, I, I, I didn't want to throw full stereotype at people, but, like, there were times in drama where I'm just like, man, this is actually what people tell me, like, you know, the law kids and the drama kids. It's just, ah, much. I don't want to be like this. But, uh... <coughs> I used to know the ins and outs of everything. I was even in with, like, the cool girls at one point, but they were mostly using me because they just wanted to, like, tease a boy. So, that didn't do well for my psyche, but... If I'm at him again, I wouldn't hold it against him. Alright, am I fighting you right now or am I getting a level 23? I think we fight you right now and just see what we're dealing with here, then get ready for Mela and all them. Because Mela's not going to give us XP, which is noted. And then... That's where we have to... We have to go higher level anyways, right? So we can see what level we get to here. We just go for there. Spend your day talking to the hottest girls in school. I mean, does that sound like a bad thing? Back then? Probably not. That's when I whip out the suave statement and say I was dating one of the hottest girls in school. I am dating one of the hottest girls in school. Eight years next Monday, act Tuesday? Monday. 23rd is our anniversary. Yeah, next Tuesday. What the hell, Rockruff? Did you just run into my ass? You must die. Except not. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, 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 the jealousy, yeah. I'm just trying to think if I want to go in here at level 22. Maybe I want to get to 23. Let's do a quick grind. We got Psyducks here. I'm just, I'm, I'm worried about XP. We need XP anyways because it's Mela, Orthworm, and Kofu after this, right? That's 27, 29, and 30. So we, we will need to grind a smidge regardless. Mello won't give XP, so we just need to kind of like... I guess we want to go in at... We might want to fight Earthworm at 28, perhaps? Turd hats? I don't want to fight these things. I never actually dated any of the popular girls in school. I only dated three women in my life. And the second one that I dated, we were more, not set up, but it was just kind of like a, she had never dated before, and I knew one of her friends, and her friend's like, you know, you two be great together, and I said, I guess. 
Then I met her parents and they got really pissed off that I was poor and Catholic. She went to New Zealand or Switzerland to study in grade 12. She didn't want to stick to a long-term relationship. I'm like, hey. No regrets, obviously. I am in the best relationship of all the relationships I've ever been in right now, so. I've always I've always told my girlfriend, I'm glad that I didn't date you first, because I wanted to date her back in grade 9, then her dad scared me the fuck away, and I'm like, I'm kind of glad your dad did, because you would have dated a really different noob. Like, I was a way different guy in high school than I am now. A lot of, a lot of learning through all of the unfortunate things I went through. Yeah, high school's always a weird time, right? Especially for... I, I don't want to throw us in that in that crowd chat, but I have a feeling you and I were kind of in that crowd of mostly miscreants and sort of the uh, the outsiders. So we, when we get it, when we get a taste, it's just that pressure, right? You get a little bit of a taste of the inside, and you're like, you want to remain, but sometimes you make those sacrifices that just don't suit you. And once I learned that in university, where I'm like, I'm just not a guy who's not going to make connections, and I'm not going to get real jobs from it as a result, but, you know, that's just the best way I exist. Suddenly you become a little bit of a better person, even if it doesn't add up to other things that people are looking for, right? Other people are out there getting, like, that full-time job, and I'm just like, here, well, I, well, I know who I am now, and that's okay. But yeah, I'm really glad my girl, like, my girlfriend did not deserve, or did, or, like, not deserve the way that I was in high school. She's quite literally too perfect for me to make her experience age 16 to 25 noob. No, I, well, we started dating when I was 23. 24. So. But I did not want her to experience pre-adult noob. Very different guy that I'd say I'm not proud of. Mostly because I don't like the way that I was. I think there's a lot of things that went in the background of it. I'd rather not get into details about it either, so. If anything, Lizzie was the one that kind of convinced me, or not convinced me, but, but helped me build the confidence to ask out Pro Poker Girl. Because that's when we, that's when it was the whole, like, I had broken up with my ex for the second time, and I, it, was, it was some really rough things, the reasons why we broke up, and technically we never actually broke up. <laughs> she just cheated on me with my best friend, and, and, uh, like, I remember her making sure that I wasn't just dating on a rebound, because I was pretty much, I, like, I don't like being alone, and I was, I was aware of that. And we were talking, and we're like, well, as long as you don't see it as a rebound just for the sake of a rebound, I'm like, yeah, but I really like your sister. Like, I've always liked your sister. I just never had access to it because... Not access. It sounds weird like it's a friggin' Amazon shipping company. But, like, I've never wanted to date her because your dad literally wants to shoot me. That's what he told me. Actually, he said he's gonna rip my arms and legs up, ship me in a FedEx box back to my parents. I have to explain why they would mangle me up. Um, why I was mangled. But... Then, then she was like, well, actually, my dad really wants you two to date, and he was kind of happy that you broke up with your ex, and I'm like, what? <laughs> Please explain to this lost poor man, broken man, why your dad said, he's like, oh, you're, you're straight and narrow, you know, we don't have anything in common at all. Her dad's like a hunter, tougher guy, ex-military, and there's me. <laughs> Everything is the opposite of that. <laughs> But the one thing we had in common is we both like order, and we are both honorable men who want to be good for others, right? It doesn't always look like it from him, but he is a he is a good man with with his own demons that he tackles in the way that he can, right? And once and once Lizzie told me that, I'm kind of like, the fact that your dad was hoping I'd break up with my ex is kind of hilarious. I love it. <laughs> That's kind of that's kind of sweet in the weirdest way possible. <laughs> Lots of stories to tell, I guess. 
from being from being told I'd be shipped at a FedEx box mangled to man, I'm so glad you broke up with that girl. Please date my daughter. Alrighty. <laughs> a timeline I'm okay with being a part of. What the? Explain. Did I find a hitbox in a wall? Fascinating. I was nowhere near you, Gogo. -Go. Skiddo, whatever. Can I do that again? How did I do that? Well, I know I do this, but like, how did I? Huh. Something's screaming in the back there. We'll find a nimble. I believe they said they were going to eventually make follower emotes available to all channels. They were going to slowly phase out that it was just for your channel. I haven't been keeping... I've been kind of keeping up with Twitch stuff, but I haven't been keeping up with it to the point where, like, I'm making use of the vertical clip editor or anything like that. I could check, too. Let me see. Like this one? Yeah, it looks like they did actually make it where follower emotes can be used in other channels. Sweet. I should put that. I should keep that in mind then. Maybe I should move a couple of uh, paid ones to free. We'll maintain a good business model here, but also like you know. I think everybody should have access to Propoc J to join in on uh, join in on raids. Sorry for the spam. What spam? Man, we've got this as a command. There's no way you could ever spam. Oh, oh, I didn't I don't actually know. You might be right where maybe you have to be subbed to use the follower emotes in other channels. That that sounds more correct actually. You've never seen that? That was a, that was a command that Sai that was just something that Sai said a long time ago and I kept it as the only loot command <laughs> cuz it's just so fucking funny. It's just so well said. While you're on your Ursaring fur rug, having a relaxing moment, you subtly bring out your Gudra loop and turn on your Tundra your spouse to give them the doomy eyes. <laughs> yeah, okay, so it is you have to be sub to use the follow. Okay, never mind. We'll keep this the emotes as is then. Regardless. Yeah, that was that was that we used to have a lot of those types of uh, commands. And then I just made a decision. I'm like, alright, listen, size a huge part of this channel. He's an awesome dude who's been supportive for a long time. This command was freaking hilarious. We're also going to put nerds thick Blastoise ass command. Once I find it, I'm going to make that a command too. Years of studying at an art school just to draw thick Blastoise dilf asses. <laughs> she said it much better. But, uh... Sometimes you just gotta recognize brilliant statements and realities of society. Alright, let's go fight level 23. Am I hurt? No, okay. 69 HP in a dream. Here we go. <sighs> Don't mind me just going up Death Mountain. I remember there was one time these rocks never caused me any problems. There was another time where I literally got bombarded to the point where I just could not move. I got chain CC'd. All right, this thing's not very strong, so it's level 20. We've got a couple of Pokemon that could take it on. We are going to have to be careful, though. I think Galarian Meowth might hit level 27 off this fight. And if so, we have to put it away while we grind. Hello, giant bomb or deer. Bomb or deer. It's a lot of damage, actually. If it shows a ground move, we have a problem, but, like, I also don't have a solution, so we're just gonna hope it doesn't show a ground move. Uh, 
the 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 what? <laughs> oh, the Phasmo UV? You talked about the ultraviolet light? I didn't know they were reworking uh, UV as well. All right, that's phase one. Phase two, we're gonna try and Thunder Wave. What are they doing with it now? Oh, they're actually reworking every. Oh, that's cool. Oh man, right before I have to quit the game. Come on. I am concerned. The UV footprints? Interesting. Torment sucks, but it's not the worst thing in the universe. So Liz, it's it's the same thing. Um, because right now we're just using Wonderlock. Oh, well, shit. Because we're using Wonderlock. Uh, once we catch a Pokemon in an area, we just trade out, and whatever Pokemon we get, other than Dupe's Claw, like with, with like if we get duplicates, we put it back in. Oh, don't do that! No, that's terrible. That's actually really bad. Um, fingerprints. Fingerprints. Not ph the phalanges, phalanges. Uh, so yeah, so what we do is we cash one Pokemon per area. We trade it out, and then those are our Pokemon. Death is, is gone, right? In a run where it would be completely randomized, we haven't fully figured that out yet, because like, it's like Nuzlocking, um... Oh, he knocked it straight down, but it's still weak to thing? Interesting. I thought I got rid of the flying tape. No, it just makes it where can get hit, I forgot. Either way, we beat it. Um... With an open world like this, if we had to go catch, what it would have to be would be the first Pokemon we see. Probably. It's hard to tell, but it's a... Uh... Yeah. Open world makes it a little bit more interesting. With Gen 8, the way that we would do it in a rando is we'd see all these Pokemon walking around, but we would go for the one that's the exclamation mark encounter, so you just run to the grass and get caught off guard. Because that way you don't know what's coming. You can't choose your Pokemon. Gen 9 and Let's Go Pikachu Eevee, which I don't really plan to ever play, I don't think. Um, with Gen 9, once we can randomize it, it's going to be... We'll have to see what works to make it the most random. Because nobody's going to pick on whatever we do, right? People, I'm sure, play many different ways. The way that I see it is you just kind of walk in and the first Pokemon that's in front of you, that's, that's your catch. Even if you see, like, an enormous friggin thing in front. Who knows, right? Like, I don't know. Well, that's okay, Suwako, because we don't need... Well, that tells us then that we're looking for fingerprints. I actually like that. Actually, Kami, did you see they're gonna be doing a Brave... The, their final Brave Lock challenge starting May 23rd, with apparently their biggest prizes ever? I'm definitely thinking about jumping in on that. Did not see that coming in my content, uh, in my content log. But I definitely think I'll be going back to Monster Sanctuary to do that Brave Lock challenge. I've done every single one of them. And I haven't actually won yet. So technically I can win a... I didn't win any of the journals, so I could technically win rewards from this Brave Lock. Unless I could change the rules on it. But it'd be fun to do it. You could also what charge 
DD, so if you shine it on them for a bit, they persist after you put the UV away. Oh, makes them all. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Makes them luminescent. Why would we have to relearn all the evidence? If anything, I think that's way better, because if you see footprints now, you know to look for fingerprints. But that doesn't that also mean... Wouldn't that just also mean if you see footprints, you just know it's fingerprints as an evidence? That seems kind of... That's the point? That's kind of weird. Because then they better not call the evidence fingerprints then. It might as well just be UV evidence, right? Are they going to change it to be UV evidence instead of fingerprints? Because that just sounds kind of strange. You're looking for feet when you're looking for fingers. It's called Oh, it is called UV now. Okay, okay. okay. That makes... Okay, well, that's... That's more consistent. Because fingerprints were pretty inconsistent. Considering sometimes you don't know where the ghosts were touching. And... Salt being tactical with salt will be will will still matter, and you need to actually like shine on the salt. So, I guess there are two different ways to make it work. This is still a touching story. And you can still look for fingerprints with knocks and stuff like that. So it's not like it's you're fully relying on salt. Are we just getting a salt truck? I mean, he's not my favorite, but, like, his story is the one more... Like, like the end, I do like how they tied it into the end game. I still won't ruin the end game for those who haven't seen it. Alright, or... Oh, boy. Okay. So. Orthworm, Mela, Kofu. Man, Mela's gonna... Mela's gonna be so tough. So this is what we need to do. How do I beat the fire? Dude, how do I beat the fireplace? I can't beat the fireplace with three Pokemon weak to fire. Is there nowhere else I can catch? <sighs> I just need another chance to have another thing, right? One. Not that guy. One. Two. Three. That's all we've got left. Hmm. What about lemon ginger tea? I need to go get ginger chewables. It was tasty when I had it. I really wish. I even confused my naturopath by saying that tea actually makes me constipated. But she's like, what tea do you drink? Herbal tea. 
Lemon Ginger, all these other ones. She's like, that's supposed to help you go to the bathroom. I go, I'm aware. <laughs> I'm very aware that I don't make sense. <laughs> I used to drink tea a lot. Like with my like when I go to my grandparents and stuff like that, we drink tea all the time. I drink all, I, every time. Like when they'd have coffee, I'd have tea. But just doesn't sit well with me anymore. Human body is weird, bro. I, you're telling it to the one person who will never tell you otherwise. It's cool to say, hey, my body's a medical anomaly. It's also not cool to say, hey, my body's a medical anomaly. Especially when you can't solve issues in full. I drink water on stream. Between the two protein shakes that I have and that GI Restore, at least that's a forced liter of water. Well, time. A Psyduck is outpacing the AMA. If we lose Flappy, this run is toast. Because I don't think we could actually beat Mela's base with three things weak to fire. Ooh. It's going to take some patience. Yep. Liz, For the King 2 beta was really fun. We've got a bunch of new weapons and enemies and stuff like that in it. The grid combat's not too difficult either. Like, they've added some extra things in it, but it still plays like For the King. I'm hoping to get in for more beta testing and show it off more. Apparently, for those who weren't there at, at, uh, for those who weren't there at 12.45 a.m. when I beat my run, I'm only one of the few people in the beta who actually beat the campaign, and on normal, no less. Yeah, it's incredibly unoptimized at the moment, but again, close beta. It needs a lot of graphical fixes and a lot of, uh, UI fixes, but otherwise it's good. Yeah, it's pretty fun, Liz. The four-player thing actually is... It makes things look harder, but things feel relatively scaled well. Relatively. There's just a few... I, I'm just a big believer. I, my, my biggest critique of it at the time was very simply... There are things thrown in there that just don't feel like they matter, but they're in there anyways. And it just kind of feels extra for no reason. For the king, you play it to roll dice. You don't play it to have the hardest decisions to make in society. But... It, when it looks better, when it'll look better, it looks, it's gonna look cool. The loadout system is neat. The I don't know how much if you've seen anything of it, Liz. Um, but the loadout system is neat. A whole bunch more weapons. All right, what are we learning? Electro Ball. Oh boy, can't wait to lose Thundershock for a way worse attack. I learned t I lost Takedown. Even worse. Do that. Oh, okay, that's fair. Yeah, it was good. You turn. Oh no. Learn leaf. Uh, learn it over leaf. Oh, don't learn it over low kick. Please don't learn it over low kick. That's precisely why we have two low kicks. That's why I said we're not going to teach you the low kick. In case I. I don't think we're going to need it though. Oh no, we need it for Orthworm. I need that back. Thanks. It just looks for the lowest base power. It's so dumb. It's actually just really dumb. Yeah, of course. Open bait will be good. Yeah, it loses you exactly. It'll be loose who you turn for that. Precisely. How did you know? Yeah, Electro Ball can be good if I use X Speed. You're not wrong. It's just Flaffy's not very not very fast to begin with, so it's just kind of a bad move on it. It's not terrible. It's an upgrade to Thundershock at su in some cases, but not by much. You wait for Discharge, Thunder, Thunderbolt, I mean, everyone waits for Thunderbolt, but like Discharge, Shockwave, all of those will just be better versions. It's just a, it's just a bridging move to stronger electric moves later on. Oops, sorry, sir. Okay. 
There's a lot of games coming out, like Monster Sanctuary. I really hope. I, I'm almost. I think I've said this before, but if if that if that dev doesn't come back to work on the skill tree rando, I might want to look into like finding someone who may want to pick up the project if they're okay with that. I really want that project back. Skill tree rando and Monster Sanctuary with Chaos Relic update would be superb. Yeah, Thunder Wave and Electro Ball. Yeah. Like, it has... It's fine. It's just it takes a lot of extra setup. We're going against Kofu. I don't know how much time I'm actually going to have to do that. You know what I mean? All of his guys are super quick, which means I only slow them by... What is it, 50%? Now? I don't think it takes their speed down by 75 anymore. I think it takes it by 50? Or is it just the chances of paralysis went from 50 to 25? I don't quite remember. Point being, like, you know... Any faster Pokemon? Sure, it'd be great, but this one, it'll, it'll do. It'll do. Man, there's a lot of games that I'm looking forward to. Oh, yeah, I can't hit you. Ha! I can't actually fight you. Well played. Couldn't get away. The hell I can't. Oh, my God, I did it again. Ahem. <clears throat> Don't worry about it. We have these. On the off chance that I did that. It's a Choodle. Cyclizer. That's Volt Absorb and Wind Power. Yep. It's because that's the only one you fight for my Ono. You don't fight Volts. You don't fight Volt Absorb uh, Watchroll. Hers has wind power. Which is funny because it doesn't have tailwind. <laughs> it's their way of nerfing Iono. They could have just gone all in and just made all of her stuff. Like, she has Intimidate Luxio. She has Bolt, Belly Bolt. Like, you could have just went all in. If you had Levitate Miss Magius with Electric Terra, you might as well have just done Volt Absorb Watch. Just a screw all of us. Barbaric fight. Of course. I'm gonna hit myself. He's gonna crit. We know how this goes. Oh! It was a speed tie. Oh boy, para flinch. Oh, sorry, flinch fusion. Not today. Uh. Could do that with takedown too, you know. I want you to get the 28. Do I want you at 28? Let's get it to 28. Then we'll go to Kofu and see. We don't need it to beat the water Pokemon. We have we have Florigato and Flaffy. I'm just mostly concerned about losing to XP. The Pokemon I have no control over, right? We know it's a Veluza. Uh, I forget what else he has. Veluza, Crabominable. I don't remember what his second Pokemon is. I have to look it up again. But nonetheless, they're all pretty glass cannony. So, you know, Meowth is sort of a backup. Stone. 
noted that we could have had any evolution we wanted just by looking around a little bit. I picked up a dead sandy gas, Amy. I am looking forward to Infinite Fusion, though. That should be a that should be a riot of a time. For those who don't know, it is a standalone Pokemon game with 178,000 Pokemon fusions. It has a built-in Pokemon rando, not moveset rando, but it has a built-in Pokemon rando, including randomized fusions. Like the fusions that, they, that you can just find without having to find the two Pokemon to make them into fusions. We'll have some fun with chat on that. Who knows, it might be a charity thing. You can save your money now, but you'll want it used during the Rogan Randomizer Marathon. I'm just going to say that. Or, you know, you can just be good. and just, I have, Yeah, I have to try it out of it. Like, we're going to be trying it on stream, right? It's well done, right? It's well done. Very rarely look at non-mainstream Pokemon games. But this game is built, like I was talking about with Boykes when he was streaming it. It's one of those games where it's built, you don't have to be a Pokemon fan to play it. Because it's not built like a Kaizo or built for you to be a perfect player. You can, you don't have to worry about EVs and items and optimizing. You can just play it. Just play it normally. Casual. It, it feels like a game that can be played both casually and challenge-wise, right? And you, and in my opinion, with my experiences, I do not find many ROM hacks to be that way. I like ROM hacks or just Pokemon standalones that have optimization features and, and added things that make the game more fun. Not trying to make it... Like, you want to make it harder, no problem. I just don't gravitate towards it because I find some people do not hit the mark with it. It becomes more obnoxious just for the sake of being obnoxious. Partially the reason why I was trying to build that ROM, that ROM hack with, um, with patrons. Oh, are you nice? That shot's in August? Photoshoot's in August? I keep asking you, I keep forgetting. Go me. That's a face. I haven't seen that face around these parts. How much does this do? Wide Marini. Yeah. Infinite Fusion seems like a very well done game. I mean, you might need a chi- uh, like, uh, the thing is, I'm gonna be doing it with... I kinda wanna do it where I don't look up the enemy Pokemon, but when I catch fusions, I'll look up my own. So it, it's, it's, it'll be sort of an info -less lock, if you will, where I'm, I'm trying to figure out how fusions take on their typings, but I don't wanna look up their movesets and stuff, I just kinda wanna guess to make it more fun. At least for the first time. If we continue to do Infinite Fusion, we'll probably look at a little more information and just kind of play around that, but... Just to see how they balanced out the Pokemon and fuse the movesets and, and the like, so... But on the first time, I just want to kind of get... I, I, want to, I want to put my brain to the test to see if I can figure out, how, based on how they look, what their typing is, what movesets would they have, etc, etc. One twenty already? Is that Berserker? <gasps> yeah, I didn't know I'd get one. Ooh, I thought it was like level 33 Evo. Perfect. It was badass mofo. Yes, that's actually a big power spike. 
I've actually never used Berserker either. Oh, please. Please learn it. Forget Fake Out. Acceptable. Acceptable. Could have been better. Acceptable. Berserker with Iron, or with, with Tough Claws is good. Its attack is fairly high. Yes, it is. <laughs> Definitely is. Mausinger. What a great name in German. Yeah, tough, tough Claw is, is going to hurt. That's good. Okay. Just out of curiosity, do you remember any moves from this? I can't teach them, but I'm just... Oh, you can actually get Metal Burst. Huh. And Iron Defense, Nito. Okay. Berserker, we're going to put away in the box. 28 is high enough while we fight Mela. Should we go to Earth? No, we gotta go fight the... Ooh, how are we gonna do this? No, what we should do is go beat up Kofu's minions first. Then... Then we go to Mela and Orthworm. Maybe we fight Orthworm first, then Mela? We'll, we'll figure this out. We'll figure this out. We got this. We still gotta get everybody higher up level first, so... That's a sitting down Psyduck. Kill it! Disturbing the <laughs> disturbing the local ducks, something you can't do in Canada. Because they'll kill you. <laughs> Poor sheep. Yeah, man, geese are wild. Geese are spooky. But you know what? Good on them. Because people say that Canada is too timid, and I'm like, welcome to our wildlife. Would you like to tell them that they're that they're tame, or that nothing in Canada is aggressive again? But say it really close to them, and make sure you hear everything they say. Because, uh, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> That's great. I laugh of someone who has been chased by a... I have been chased by a goose before. This one time at a family picnic with my girlfriend, we were going for a walk, and we saw some people who clearly were not from around here. Like, they looked like they were visiting just to go, like, like picnicking or whatever. I do not want to fight a quillfish. Um, and they were trying to walk up and give pieces of bread to the geese. And the geese were looking at him like, who the fuck? Are you new here to Canada? The answer probably was yes. Probably, because these people were walking up like it was nothing. And I go, look, if you've lived here long enough, you know you do not just approach a goose with food. <laughs> expecting nothing to happen. I mean, no, I'm not saying that, but, like, if you're local to Canada and you know what goes on with Canadian wildlife, there are certain wildlife you just don't approach, and these people did not get the memo in their tourist pamphlets to not walk up to geese and feed them. Needs to say, the kid was crying as the dad almost got his hand eaten, but, uh... We're just walking by, kind of like, we want to shake our heads, and we're just like, they, they didn't do the research. That's like going to Japan and finding a, finding one of those murder hornets and being like, Oh, I want to take a picture of these close up, not realizing they hold a grudge and will chase you to the ends of the earth to kill you. Speaking of which, I tell you guys they were trying to build a wasp's nest right above our front door. When we were out there trying to fix our roof. Or the east trough near our roof. I just happened to walk inside and I look up and there's just this bee, this, this tiny little bee's nest built in a really weird, like, it's built in the corner, but it's still exposed to the wind, so, like, it was covering from rain, but it was still gonna get hit by wind eventually, and I told my dad, he's like, good eye, I go, thank god, because I was just walking in and out of the front door like it was nothing, and it was, it was super early development, but the thing was, my girlfriend and I went for a walk the night before, so it just started building that nest, like, it literally was just working on it. And my dad sprayed it, and lo and behold, about five minutes after he sprayed it, you see this honking fucking hornet, like black wasp, flying in, just trying to get into his thing. The worst thing was, I don't, I don't know what actually made it worse, the fact that um, 
It was spooky, seeing the size of the, of the, of the, I'm assuming the queen bee. But what made it even scarier for me was the thing was literally powering through it. I mean, it would have to. It's, it's kind of like fighting for its home. But it was, like, it almost looked like it was ready just to climb through the foam and get poisoned for its home. And I'm like, holy shit. Thing, I'm just watching it from inside. And we're staring at it. Milo's staring at it. Like, he doesn't even like silverfish. He doesn't kill bugs anymore. He'll chase them, but like, he'll, he'll beat up flies. That's the only thing he'll beat up. If he finds a fly, he'll beat it up and just like bite its head off and leave it on the ground. Like, thanks, dude. Um, behind the tip, behind the, uh, behind our couch, too, because they'll be on the windows if they come inside. So you'll just see a little collection of dead flies that he makes. Piling up bodies. Good lion pet, but, um,. Oh, East Paldean Sea. We can catch out here. We could catch out here. Ooh, yeah, we could get another encounter. East Paldean Sea. All right. Let's do that. Kangaroo beats goose? Probably. Unless the kang unless the goose gets inside the pouch. And then you got a war of, of internal affairs you got to deal with. But yeah, like, the, the thing was, I wish I was exaggerating. It was a freaking... Like, it maybe I was... I actually went to go... I, I was almost tempted to, like, look up a picture of, like, a Japanese murder hornet and be like, e -e -e, this kind of looks like that thing. But I, it's just a bee. It's just a big queen bee, right? They're huge. So, eventually flew away. Dad knocked it down. No harm, no foul. This year we caught the... They like to build a wasp nest around our property every time. Um, last time, they got away with it because they found a perfect little corner in our front tree where it was hidden behind foliage and we go we, we walk and leave the house a lot right so it just kind of caught us off guard that we couldn't find this particular thing and by the time that we saw it i happened to notice there was a bunch of buzzing happening around our front lawn and this is also when we had like a bunch of outdoor events wasn't the year that my cat got or almost got stung but we just we were just noticing. We're like, man, we're we're getting swarmed, and my girlfriend was noticing that too. And then it just so happened that I happened to look up one day, and I go, what the fuck? Like I just saw this giant paper nest. Told my dad, and the thing was, it was built high enough we couldn't get it without having an extra extended nozzle to get to it. It was a very good nest. Let's put it that way. So, lo and behold, we found something. We eventually sprayed it down, but it took a long time for it to die. Because I think we got it, and then they tried to build around it. It just eventually paid out. They just they just gave up on it. I'm like, good, because Jesus, man. <laughs> Look, I don't want I don't want I don't want bees or anything to go extinct, right? I just don't like them near me. I like looking at them behind glass. Call me the collector. Ah, oh, man. I get, did I ever tell you about the time my my uncle found a bee? Like, uh, there were paper wasps building a nest in his foundation. Because they had got... Oh, Pip, come on, man! That doesn't beat Orthworm. Or Mella. I can go find other water places. Friggin' Hop Pip! Yeesh. Is it a high enough level that I can get rid of it? No. Of course not. Master Raid Den Babies? Yeah, me neither, actually. Oh, I gotta put it on the team to give it as much experience as I can, I guess. We're not gonna grind it. It doesn't help us with any of the fights. Like, it can help against friggin' Kofu, I guess. It'll get one shot by Ice Punch, but so will Florigato. Actually, it might not get one shot. I'll get pretty hurt, though. Vivalon will probably die to it. So we just gotta kill it quickly. <sighs> Not even flying to it's a grass type, at least, so we can get rid of his flying typing. One caveat. Let's see if I can find another water spot to go get another encounter. I just realized with doing thingamajig we can actually get more encounters. I could go out here. I think this is all East Paldean Sea though. Could we do West Paldean Sea? We could do South Paldean Sea. That wouldn't be terrible. I think we can catch things in South Paldeans. If not, we just run away. We have we have polka dolls. No no loss, right? West Paldean Sea, I know I can't do. But South Paldean Sea, I might be able to do. 
I'm just assuming the West Paldean ones are, are higher level. But yeah, like, they had, he had a nest built under his East Troughs, and what we were trying to prevent. We didn't have that happen, but we were just preventing that from happening. But I remember it was, like, building to the point where his walls were starting to, um, were starting to wrinkle because they're working the foundation, right? They had to get an exterminator, which is like, you're not doing, they're like, we can just break it down ourselves. Like, you want to break down the, the wall that happens to back onto a wasp's nest inside your house. You can close the door. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> and I don't think you are understanding. <laughs> I had to warn my next door neighbor. He's got bees flying into his... He has like a really broken part of his foundation on the outside. His brick is all split. Because he used to have one of those um, stove flues. Like you, know, like, you know, like the... When your stove and oven has the... Um... The vent that just has a hole going to the outside. It was, it's an older house, right? So they replaced that a long time ago, but they never, like, they put a little vent cover, but they didn't put the foundation in properly, so they didn't caulk it or, or, or seal it or anything. And now I started noticing bumblebees actually flying into that spot in and out, and I'm like, oh no, bro, you got, you may have a bee's nest that's developing in there. You need to chat tackle that because my, my place is full of, of bees already. And... We don't want more bees coming in. You're level 8. Maybe I can do West Palde and see. <laughs> Get in the ball. Perfect. Alright. More catches than I... Than I had believed. Maybe I should check this first before doing all my grind. Whatever. This is why I want to learn all the new Nuzlocks. I need randomizer for it, though. I need a better computer for that, though. I need money, though. Chat, what's the common factor? Hey, did you guys know that if you join my Patreon, your names get prioritized in these runs? Completely unrelated to anything I'm talking about. I can also change the Hopip's name. That's nice. Uh, this is gonna be... Ben Loom. Yay, welcome Ben. Nugget, give me a golden go. That's oh my god, that's a Mela answer. Holy shit. Can I use it? That could even just be like a level 22 that was caught. I would be all for that, please. Have we been saved? Even give it water compaction. Just, just make it amazing. Come on, let me use it. Yes! That's incredible. That turns us around quite a bit. We now have an answer for Orthworm and for Mela. And that's immediately going on the team. Hell yeah, man. Oh my god. Now, granted, if it keeps Sand Tomb or Mega Drain. It's got to keep that stuff. But we can we can make this work, hopefully. Ground type, even better. It's a ground type uh, Terrastalize. Water Compaction, too. Oh, I'm so happy. Plus Special Attack, it's Modest? I'm s I feel so good now. There's been a burden taken off of my back. The chances of us losing this run just got halved. How is it an Orthworm answer? Orthworm is gra is Steel type. I didn't have it. I don't have anything to kill a Steel type. Ground kills fire and steel. I just needed something that could get hit from neutral and do super effective damage. I don't have that. 
There's like low kick Florigato. It's gonna get murdered. This thing's tanky enough it can take it. I don't think it'll be a sandy. I don't think it'll be a pale of sand before we get there, but we could try. Oh my god. That changes us so much. To the West Paldean Sea. Oh yeah, it is immune to ground. Oh shit. Well, you know what? Damn it. Thank you for telling me that before I built around that. Nonetheless, it can still not get destroyed. Right, Earth Eater. Earthworm Gym. We literally have the... No, this is this is Toe Jam and Earl. This is not the Earthworm Gym song. Alright. Don't mind me just jumping into the sea. Which way is the sea? That way! Yabba dabba do. Oh, I missed the C. Hold on. Yabba dabba do. Ow. Oh, slid off the face. Youch. West Paldean C. Hello, Wingle. He swan dived and died. <laughs> I uh Wingle? Wingle? Wingle, I'd like to encounter you. Any any time now. Are you How are you doing that? I know how they do it, but I just wanna Finian! You're my catch now. And before shiny. Oh boy, I want to learn Fairy Wind, guys. You ready for this epic hop hip moveset development? Boom, ask for advice. Fuck Splash. Boo yeah. Hop hip is the best designed Pokemon. Look at that AI. Beautiful. What am I learning? I want to learn Poison Powder, huh? Do I? Yep, don't need that. Why would that be useful on a tanky Pokemon? Not a chance. Sunspore? Probably going to get the same treatment. Unless we think that Poison doing damage is worth. Yep, we don't need that either. You're right, game. Sleep powder? Oh, well, let me let me guess what you're gonna say. No, we've got tackle, tail up, absorb a fairy wind. We don't need any help from status. Not a chance. Thanks, video game. Do that. At least we have a Mela answer with Sandy Gast. I'll take that. That's 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 good enough, right? Mela was a scary thing. No, it it just said don't take the move. Because it doesn't do damage. Because that's what the AI says first. Yeah. It's just like, oh, Poison Powder, Sleep Powder, and, and Stun Spore doesn't do any damage. So just get rid of that. But if you do it a second time, it'll reconsider. It's just we're doing it off the first time. We did test that when Officer said it. And it will try and make a better moveset after the first try. But, yeah. No, second time is second time is better, but first time is like nah, nah, that garbage, that don't do damage. Right, we're gonna go back to our grinding section, which was where? <laughs> where were we grinding? Where were we grinding? Wait, I was beating up water Pokemon, wasn't I? Over here, Levincia, Levincia. By the way, today is Poutine Appreciation Day. Go eat some french fries, chat. Throw some gravy on it. Maybe some cheese curds. I sure as hell can't have any of those. Not yet. Actually, we had yolk-free noodles last night. It was gluten pasta, but yolk... Yolkless? Like it was eggless noodles? 
So it might be egg. It might not be. It might not be. It might not be gluten. I, like I don't, I don't mind if I lose gluten. It's just more expensive to lose gluten. But I might try gluten pasta tonight. And his Orth Eater ability. Yep, Orthworm Gym. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try gluten pasta. Since I'm not going out, I'm gonna try gluten pasta tonight. Put some olive oil on. See if I could stomach it. Cause it, it might have been that my um my stomach was just still too sensitive for something that heavy. Ah! Uh, I think we found our first PokemonTrades.com. Monforge.com. Banned. Well. Anyone want a level 100 Master Ball? Level 100 Master Ball Shiny. So what we'll do here is we'll just trade away some of our dead Pokemon. Just so I don't have to go catch another Pokemon. Rip Papini. We do get a free cycle. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't lose. We don't lose the encounter. If I didn't have a dead Pokemon, I'd just go catch another one. We'll just keep this here to remember. It'll get deleted with this with this file. You don't want to go trade those again. You want to delete them, but I delete this game after I'm done with it, so it doesn't matter. Really, Harry? Dang. They can look at the moveset and be like, what, did this man use advice? Yes, yes he did. Sand Isle? Wow. These are the most timely Mela answers. Not Orthworm Gym answers. That's a very timely answer. Now, unfortunately, this does mean that now two-sixths two of my team, one-third of my team does not like Kofu. But... Let's get it first. But... We now have answers for Mela, which means we now have three Pokemon that can fight Mela without us losing that, that raid part. You shouldn't, though, because if it ever, if it if, if you connect to the internet, they know. If you don't connect to the internet, whatever. Okay, so now we have three Pokemon that can fight the fire. Orthworm's going to still be a bit of a problem. It will be. Kofu, we have Florigato. Technically Sandy Gas, technically, but no. Hey, look at your Moxie to Grass. Ooh, Grass Terastalize. That could be useful. Alright. That means we don't need to train Ben Loom. We'll keep leveling it up for now while we're still grinding. Let's get back to it, chat. Not bad, not bad. They don't they don't know it's been released, to be fair. I just don't send it back out. Because if they catch you sending them, they'll say you're a proliferator of them, and then yeah. So you just it's just better to delete them and Basculins. Actually, I wonder what level those Basculins are. I can beat those up really quickly. Oh, those aren't Basculins. Those are birds. Cats usually beat birds, but not in this case. I could win it, I just don't want to. That's a backwards swimming shelter. Do they swim backwards? Oh my god, do they use their mouths to propel themselves, but they spit backwards to do that? That's so cute. I've never noticed that. <laughs> That's why I don't, I don't have enough yo-yo weapons in my video game, in my, in my board game. Worry Seed, oh god. What do you think is important, game? What? 
Fuck! No! Gee. Okay. Sombra! How's it going? Yeah, we don't need tackle. You're right. Do that. <laughs> Welcome to our advice lock. Where the advice is bad. The advice is very, 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 very bad. Uh, we do not need you anymore. Level 28 is good enough. Now the question is who are we grinding here? We're grinding you. We need to find dark Pokemon at a decent level. I do have loaded dice. I spent 20k on that Tandem Mouse, so yeah, I do have it. Uh, where are these Pokemon that I can beat up? I got Fairy and Psychic. There are Makuhitas over here. We've been run through with this game. I need to take a break soon. Find a cereal bar or something to chew on. I haven't tried cereal bars yet. But I do know I can eat the chocolate chip um, made good bars. It does. It's used competitively, to my knowledge. Part of the reason that it's so strong. Uh, Michael Jackson, Mac, you hit him. Just leaning to the side. Look at this man. He was just training his abs. Well, then why did you ask? How am I? I'm, I'm working. Oh, God. 99%? Oh, because it's 90% usually. Recovering, healing, that's pretty much it, Sombra. Taking it easy. If my boss contacts me today, we'll figure out what we can do if I'm going back next week. I'm not fully convinced. I also want to give myself an opportunity to, like, tell her and be like, look, I'm, I, it's still hit or miss with everything, but if you trust that I can try and, like, keep you in the know and, and make it work for certain, oh, make it work in certain ways, then maybe we can try and get me back in there for a couple of kids that are not stressful. I'm still supposed to do low stress work, so I can't take on any of the kids, or I shouldn't take on any of the kids that need an incredible amount of attention. Or have parents that are currently pissed at me that their kids are not evolving quick enough. I offered them rare candies, they didn't take it, but the parents were like, well, that's kind of weird. I'm like, well, you wanted them to evolve quicker, and just didn't. I don't know. Guarantees four hits, nice. I just wanted this TM. Or was it? I don't want this TM. Ah, oh, Thief is fine! Interesting place to stand for this fight. I should have drained and kissed. These guys aren't high enough level. Where am I gonna grind sand dial? Is there a fireplace? That uh, Capsa kid just jumped off a cliff to come say hi.
There are steel types? I could go, yeah, I could go to the mines. All right, Ben Loom, do you see value in synthesis? Don't need Tail Whip anymore. <laughs> Slightly accurate. I guess we'll get this thing up to 28, and then we'll go grind on steel types. I think there's the bronze orb, but they're really low level. Gimme ghouls? Eh, they're not worth much. They're also very limited. Or they're gonna be at a level 30 now, because I think I've beaten up the 15. Like, there's a couple level 15 guys, that's it. Dig. Ooh. Ask for advice. Don't need sand attack. Kind of agree. Don't need dig, but here we are. More power is more power. Skittos. <laughs> the other two are just like, nah, you're on your own, dude. Wait, where are you going? You said we are going to take them down together? I thought we were friends! Dead. We'll get Vivillian to 28, then I'll take a break. I right, thank everybody for coming out today. I hope you've been having a wonderful week. Feels good to be back on a semi-regular schedule, somewhat. Just feels good to be live and working and spreading the good word for sick kids. Spreading good cheer for community. Counting down the days to the Rogan Randomizer Marathon's inevitable end. I just kind of hope that inevitable end will be further away than for day 40. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Remember, we have the prizes like the dice trays, the Pokemon Christmas ornaments. We have a couple other things coming up once my girlfriend goes to Anime North. If she can find the stuff or not, give me some ideas. All of that will be pretty much talked about before the current end of the Rogan Randomizer Marathon. So, fear not. Most, if not almost all of the prizes are cumulative donations. So if you donate now and I come up with prizes that you can that you have donated enough for in the future, that will be applicable as well. We will have the Pokemon pictures returning eventually. We will have a couple of other events that people can donate towards to add some fun into the events. Deep Lark Galactic will be one of them. It'll be a role-playing Deep Rock Galactic experience with Harry and other people. I don't know who the other people are yet, but we have other people. I think Kami was one of them. Try and reach out to other people. Make it happen. Level 28. Sensational. No, don't do that. If nothing else, you mean when nothing else or something. I'll go for speed here. Yeah, you're not very fast. That's the only problem. Do I have soft sand? Probably not. I could buy soft sand. This would be near Lavincia, right? Let's see if Lavincia has soft sand. Soft sand. You're not flesh tubing reveal. No, there's no flesh tuber reveal for Deep Larp. I am going to reveal that once again, chat. My flesh tubing will be on full. That sounds. Nope. Yeah, I can't say it that way. No, that's how I get banned. Um, there will be ways that you can influence the way that we interact with each other. It's going to be real fun. I'll give you more details later on, like closer to the event, because I don't know when we're doing it. Perfect, right there. But it's going to be fun. <laughs> I I caught it. See, it wouldn't be weird if the internet didn't make it weird, all right? I'm just saying it doesn't have to be weird. It's just you it's just people are weird. You people are weird for thinking that I'm trying to be weird. This is what happens when society collapses. Anyways, I'm going to take a break. Um what was the other command? What other command? Seduce. Oh, that one, yeah. Oh, it's actually getting reset. Ah, yes. 
All right, I'm gonna go set up a picnic with all of the friends. We'll put the cats in and everything like that. And uh... sorry, Ben Loon, you're not invited. <gasps> Yeah, be back in a few minutes. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take my milk thistle. Find a small thing to snack on. Lunch? I don't know what lunch is going to be today. Because I had rice. We don't have any bread right now. So, lunch is... I was going to put green beans in my pasta tonight. I don't have any soup left either. Shit, am I missing lunch? I don't even have toast. I'll figure it out. I could just do the protein shake. I could just do a double protein shake maybe for lunch. Break it up into two bits. Casual one liter of rice protein. Hell yeah. Back in a few. Thank you very much for watching. Join the Discord to find out about everything we're going to be doing eventually. And currently. That's just the easiest place to find everything. It is a place that I actually keep up to date. Uh, the most at, the current, at this current time. So I'm going to name these two while I'm here. If I can. Not allowed to. This one I can name. Santa Gamma. We have Marie in there. Yeah, we couldn't do anyone else. Alright, Santa Gamma's in. Alright, see you guys in a little bit. Enjoy the picnic. I'm gonna picnic in the mines, the safest place to do it, of course. <coughs> you want to buy pre rock? No. Okay. Right. Eh, let's get a good location. Away from all the riffraff, if you will. I see a shiny, though. Shh. Shinies. Uh... Here, I'll put you right by the hill. That should be fun for the ball. Alright. Save the game. Picnic. Oh, I got to hear the gimme ghoul. Sorry, guys. Recall, and I can't go on top of the hill. You can't actually go uh, on, an, on an incline. I'll stand away from the gimme ghoul. That's closer to the gimme ghoul. Crap, I'll go stand on top of the hill. All right, you kids have fun. I'll be back in a few minutes. That's as far as I can go. All right, see you in a bit. Playing some ads.
Hit me one more time with that ball, Sandile. Do it. That's what I thought. See? Aren't they? That's why I do this. It's nice, it's nice and... It's nice and soothing just to have the picnic and them making those noises. There will be times if we're just doing game development, people just want me to throw on the rain sounds. I'll throw the rain sounds on. We're back! Thank you for your patience. I like rain sounds. Archipelago announcement. an archipelago. No friggin way. DLC quest? I don't know what that is. But Noida made it to archipelago. Oh no. I'm not gonna get that game to make it happen. Stardew Valley update. Overcooked 2 now has the options for DLC. Super Metroid update, Subnautica. Oh, here we go, Harry. This one's for you. There is a setting... In Link to the Past, Factorio, and Subnautica, where you can actually start particular items in your inventory if you just want to make it easier for yourself. It's like if you wanted anything that could give you access, you want to start Boots and Lamp, for example, you could do that now. That's what it seems like. Neat. Those are always nice. Those are always, always nice ways to, like, shorten runs for you if you don't have as much time. Noida integration. Damn. Alright, let's see. Link's Awakening DX. Fix some stuff. Bizhawk was released. Okay. Okay. Overcook 2. Messenger sub uh, blah, bug fixes. Subnautica bug fixes. Yeah. Like, if you wanted to start with that stuff, you could do that. Red Blue fixes. Wargroove fix. Archipelido. Uh, Ar Ar Archipelido. Update item pool generation. Clique. Factorio fixes. Kingdom Hearts 2 fixes. Link to the Past now has the start from pool. New start inventory from pool. Oh my god. You can apparently customize a sound for oof. Add oof sound customization option. I don't know what that means. Stardew Valley was updated. Super Metroid was mega updated. StarCraft 2 was updated. Okay. Goliaths are now a basic unit. I'm sure anyone who understands that understands that. Ocarina of Time fixes. Legend of Zelda fixes. Zillion fixes. Logic conditions for classic mode Risk of Rain 2. Witness fixes. Generator fixes. Multi-server. Alright, downloading. Imagine one day that this could just be something I don't have to worry about updating all the time. I just get nervous I'm going to miss stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just going to have the wrong version. I don't know why I get nervous. No one's going to punish me or anything like that, but... Cool. I posted the link there if you guys want to download the new AP. I was contemplating this. I, I partially asked that question yesterday. Not only to scout... Uh, what people were thinking of the Rogue and Randomizer Marathon. But I've been I've been pondering if we truly are a genre-based channel and people like the variety and the... Uh, there are a lot of conditions that have to be met. If I have the time, 
I have the resources. That is way too hard to kill. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Bye. Uh, a schedule that I could run, depending on what day it is, and, and of course different changes happening and all this stuff. It could be like a roguelike day, a randomizer day, and a Pokemon day. I think that would be cool. To do that for... To do that for, like, a sort of requirements thing. We don't have to stick... We don't have to stick exclusively to it. But having, like, a day where we could say, let's just pull out a randomizer I feel like playing and just play a randomizer nonstop or a new randomizer or whatnot. And there's a day where we, we play, like, a roguelike. We can just pull out from a list of roguelikes depending on what people feel like seeing or what I feel like playing. And just have a Pokemon day where you just have, like, Nuzlocke going, like, the new blocks or we play, you know, Crystal, Full Light, and Rando or something like that, right? I've been contemplating that for quite some time. You, I could fight. I could fight Karkles. Because it would still be on brand, right? Yes, Filet Rando. Incinerated. All right, we'll fight Roly Colies until we can fight Carcoles. Once we can one shot these things, we'll go after Carcoles. That's spectacular XP. It's double of what we were getting before. That way, we can also make like AP days, the part of the roguelike days and stuff like that. Like we just plan around that. I do mean it. After the Rogue and Randomizer Marathon, like I really want to make sure we play as many APs we can, or, or just like play APs when like we'll plan days and make AP days, because. Like I've said, AP is one of the best integrations of content and community that is so inviting to so many people in so many different capacities. It's absolutely... I did leave my entire team and my party. I was wondering why I was feeling a little packed in here. Almost threw that away from talking. But it just... It, it includes so many people... In all the ways that they can be included. And I love it. It's easy content, too. And that's not necessarily, like, an insult to content. It's just, like, it's, it's, it's easy to set up or help people get set up. A lot of people still play it. And they're going to be playing it for quite some time. Even if, like, like, let's put it this way. Even if, for some reason, development on AP ended today, it's in a great enough spot that people can play it for years to come, right? In whatever capacity they'd like. And we're not a true speed-running, like, gotta be good at your game kind of community. So we'll never be picky about if people are slow or have to leave after an hour or whatever, right? It just... People come in, they play their games, people want to get better at the games they do, the people just want to play for the hell of playing it, they play it, right? Zero judgment space. Togetherness. <clears throat> it's great. It's a great addition. You should call me. Prudent told me to let him know the next time we're doing AP so he could do Kingdom Hearts 2.
You can thank Hero and Shawnee and Sky for showing us AP. They've done more than they know. <laughs> People are going to be happy in this community. <laughs> the fools. Bringing joy to other people's lives. Why would they ever release such a power to the world? People wake up the next day satisfied with their current statuses. <laughs> incredible. Swagger. Not incredible. We don't like swagger, right, Sandile? Bad boy. Good. We are one-shotting. We can go for Karkles. Maybe 25. 25. Let's make sure it's not a fluke. It was a fluke. Okay. Still can't take hits well, because we're Moxie, not Intimidate. This Karkles mad. He wants my butt. Get away from me. Yeah, you're taunting me. I'm not taking it. No, Box Moxie is better. It's just grinding. It's a little bit riskier, is all. Because we're grinding on physical attackers, and Sandal's not the bulkiest. So. Once we become Krokorok, we'll be... Actually, Krokorok's 32, right? Because this is a Gen 5 Pokemon, so they don't evolve until, like, the game's over. <laughs> it's a bit of an exaggeration, but I, I kind of wish it was. <laughs> it does feel like that sometimes. Intimidate's safer for Nuzlocke, but Moxie's really good if we can sweep. It's just not a long enough Nuzlocke where we need consistent Moxie sweeping. But I'm not going to complain about it, per se. Intimidate's just safety. That would be nice, but not necessary for Sandile. Sandile's going to achieve everything he needs to achieve. Simply by existing for Mela. Somehow, Orthworm. We'll bite it. We can bite Orthworm. We just gotta be able to take hits, right? That's all. It's a Diglett. Go to Carcoles. Eradicate the Roly Coly population. Give me one second in chat. Level 29? Oh, perfect, actually. Hey, thank you for the vault. Hey, you know what's... There is there is one advantage to... Um, the follows being broken. And that's the fact that I don't want follows showing up anyways anymore. People are a lot more comfortable when their follows don't show up. Ow! Yeah, that's true. I did slow you down. What are we learning today? Leech Seed? Oh, I don't know. It doesn't do damage, game. Yeah, I didn't think so. Do it. Do that. Man. Low kick, low sweep, and brick break. Brick break. Yeah, we do have low kick. Uh, Orthworm will definitely be weak to low kick. Like, really hard. It's really heavy. I also said that about Rev of Room, and it didn't do shit. Maybe it's just me out. Maybe it's just Flora Gatto doesn't have a lot of damage on it, but I think I can beat you up now. I'm not telling you you should do anything, Harry. I've just learned that over time, as I've been watching Twitch, I've actually been more comfortable personally when my name doesn't show up on stream when I follow. I, I lurk at a lot of channels, right? There has been a pivot, but you have to remember... These pivots come from streams that I'm watching, and a lot of my streams that I watch are both, like, not social media users or looking to remove social media from their from their sort of rotation of content while them being, like, serious creators. Um, as well as... They just have very lurky communities. 
With this community, we're a pretty lurky community. We have people coming in and out all the time, and some people just don't want the recognition, and frankly, follow shoutouts are great. Never gonna never gonna be upset that anybody follows. Not trying to use that individual's way to be talk about like my feelings on everything Twitch, but I don't know why follows aren't working to begin with. Anti good anti dig stuff? Uh anti dig would be Earthquake if I recall. Earthquake does double damage to things that dig. But Earthworm Jim has Earth Eater, so it doesn't work on him. Yeah, that's fine. It'll show up with subs. Right? Subs will show up, bits will show up, donations will show up. It just follows. It just follows. I've, I've thought about it for a long time. You know? It's just kind of forced it upon, because I, I tried to turn them off before and they didn't turn off. Now they've turned off because I have no idea what the hell happened to follower notifications. It must have. But, like, the center thing I checked, it, it's it's looking at the correct folder in the correct place that stream labels is. So, I, and, and the, the sources are the same. So I'm not exactly sure why subs, and subs and everything are there too. So, like, subs and all of that are working. Followers aren't. It's very bizarre. If sub notifications and, and things like that weren't working, I'd be a lot more concerned. I'd be looking at it a lot more rigorously. But it's only followers, and I kind of wanted to turn those off anyways, so. I'll still say thank you for the follow. And if those people want to say hi, then they can say hi. Some don't want to, and that's good. That's fine. Everything can exist at the same time. Teenage Mutant Jazz Turtles. Posh. All right, let's fight one Carcal. See how we do. Dies. No. Double fool. That'll work. Whew. Crunch? You definitely want to learn Crunch. Over what? I don't know. Leer? Well, shit, but expected. <laughs> Bites right there, but Crunch is a problem. Alright, bring me more carcals. Bring the big one. Oh no, Harry. Teenage Mutant Badgers? Uh huh. Alright, level 28. That's what we want. Yeah, because we're gonna we're gonna go do that fight first. We're gonna go do the the Kofu fights first, see what our XP turns out to be, and then go from there. Cause that way we don't gain any XP on Mela. And then we'll fight Orthworm, see what our XP looks like, and then fight from there. Like like truly if Sandy Gast and Croc Rock by that point probably um If they were both 
level 29 or 30 for Kofu, it wouldn't matter too much because they're not needed for that fight. Like, water compaction is cool. You gain defense when you get hit by a water move, but, like, it's not going to win me the game. It could, but I don't think it will. It could be good against Crabomitable, to be fair. These Badgers... These Badger boys don't cut him no slack. Badger power. Ninja teens. He's a radical rat. He's a Badger's dream. <laughs> that just sounds... Yeah, I was going to say, it sounds almost the same because it sounds terrible. And it's just Badgers. Uh, Jesus. It's so good. Hello, Tauros. And we really don't have any strong moves here is the only problem. I've been charged by a Tauros. Amy. Oh boy, that did nothing. Sandy Gas can be a little hard to grind. It's going to take some time. Mainly because we don't have a good move on him. It's just Sand Tomb. We can Mega Drain things, but then we got to get hit by water. These guys are a rock fire, unfortunately. It keeps saying turtle power? Oh my god. Fascinating. Also, the fact that Sandy Gas is really slow. It's a very slow Pokemon. Base 20 speed, I think. Oh, it is super effective. What? Are you not fire type yet? Hmm. I could have swore you were fire type already. Alright, my bad. Slipping in my old, in my old content creator youth. They're gonna replace me with a younger Spryer noob. There will always be people who will be terrible at video games, but spectacular about talking about how terrible they are at video games. That is what keeps me motivated to be the best, at the top, like no one ever was. Except I'm not Ash Ketchum because I'm not retired at age 12. Although, like the rest of the world, I wish I was. <laughs> you think they'll go back and do, like, a, a callback to Ash? And he'll be on some, like, beach resort in Alola? What if Ash opened up a casino? Wouldn't that be the kicker? That's true, yeah, I guess. But even so, like, he could still, like... We kind of have what Ash Adult would look like. We could just copy Red and just say it's not Ash. That's what we've been doing for years. <laughs> Red's not Ash. Sure he isn't. You're right. You're totally right. I honestly, I could see him becoming like a, a teacher, just the way that he, just the way like Ash has been. Like, like I'm sure they just go traditional. He's a teacher, or he goes to run the elite for like, like a like a Pokemon league. In actual fact, is on Paniola Ranch slaughtering mill tanks. Damn, becomes a fisherman to get away from society. Professor Ketchum, bro, that actually works. <laughs> But he'd be the cool teachers like call me Ash. And all the all the all the students be like, okay, Ash. He'd be like, no, no. Wait a month, then call me Ash. You have to learn to hate me first. You ever have a teacher like that? <laughs> oh no. Ash has joined Dissa to Final Fantasy before Riku. <laughs> Ash and Sephiroth charging the world together. I will make this world beautiful. And I will catch them all! Yeah, it would be Professor Ash, actually. It has to be Professor Ash. Oh, yeah, the world will turn to Ash. It could mean they also turn into him, not just him burning the earth down. Well, I like to believe it's both. Uh, losing Sand Tomb here would be kind of tragic. We could, we're probably losing Sand Attack, let's be real. Yerp. 
I don't I didn't watch too many movies. I watched Pokemon the first movie, Detective Pikachu, that's it. I don't watch the anime. I know. I play Pokemon, but I don't engross my entire life around Pokemon. Feel free to unfollow whenever. I know I'm a sham. Content creators are supposed to love exactly what they do. I do. Just a very specific niche part of it. <laughs> very, very niche part of it. Especially since I'm not like an Iron Mon dude. Everyone's moved on to Heart Gold, as predicted. Saw that coming. Everyone skipped over friggin' Gen 4 and went to Heart Gold Gen 4, and I'm like, yep. Diamond Pearl Platinum is a joke. That people don't even want a Kaizo Iron Mon it. Oh, Roly Colies! Hello. Don't want a challenge. Uh. There Suwako goes again, dying on that hill. I mean, Gen 4 is hard. Vanilla, it's hard. Randomized... I'd put it somewhere in the middle of difficulty. Because that's my, my experiences in randomized. What is happening over here? Um... Hi. Oh, uh, yeah, the bouncer's after me. Alright. You guys get back to whatever... All of you are doing. <laughs> I've never, I've actually never seen a cluster like that before. <laughs> it's a Pokey Expo. Hey, they're getting ready for Anime North. Look at them go. Don't mind me, just perusing. What the hell? Oh, I didn't even see you there. That's what I'm looking for. I'm sure we'll get Ash eventually to pull, like, the original Pokemon fans back in. A lot of people are down on Lyco, I think her name is. Lyco and her, her Roy friend over there or whatever. I'm sure it'll be fine. I've heard the anime has been good since, like, Gen 7, so... The people complaining are the same people that say Gen 1 or, or Gen 4 is the best, and that would ever be the, uh... That would be, like, the peak of Pokemon. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Faked Cheese, welcome in. How you doing? How can I help? It depends on the help. Evolve your shiny? Which shiny? I only ask because there's a lot of fakes out there and I want to make sure that everything is safe. Shiny Scyther? Oh, cool. Yes, we know, Suwako, you can't get over the fact that anime girls make your day shine bright. We understand your agenda. But Gen 8 had B, so Gen 8's the best. Mainly because she's the best representation of martial arts in the universe. Or at least in the Pokemon universe. Uh, yeah, if you want faked, if you do it right now. I'm just grinding some stuff up. I don't really have anything to... Well, I could just give you one of my dead Pokemon, I guess. Who's Karina? Karina? 
called Roller Skates Girl? I mean, she was cool. She, I wouldn't really call her martial arts, though. That was more like that was more like extreme sports. I wanted a martial art representation that wasn't friggin' Maylene. Karate dude? Which karate dude? There's Chuck, Maylene, B. Dojo Master, which is a, a member. Bruno. Hey, Bruno's cool too, alright? I just think she's like the most true to like the style of martial arts that I would relate to. I just liked how she had, like, it's, it's cheating because she has the switch behind her and more animations and stuff like that to make her look better, but also I appreciate that martial arts gets a really good representation in games in general for Pokemon, but also like B is just awesome. Ah! Awesome. Yeah, that's more ninjutsu. That's more ninja ninjutsu. Which is martial arts, but he just wanted to poison you. You can't look away, he's just gonna pick up your water ball and throw some cyanide in it. Like, I don't think I don't think Coke is the type of representation you want for martial arts. Just Maylene was just like kickboxing, but it didn't look like she didn't look it's Gen 4 again. It's just I don't know. It didn't get the point across. Oh, you're talking about Brawly. Brawly, I think, was I, I think Brawly was done dirty. I don't I don't he could have looked so much like they try to make him look cooler in Oraz, which was nice. But yeah, he he's he's got a bit of a he's he's it was a bit rough for him. A wee bit rough for him. It is, it is avoiding a fight. You're not wrong. Managing scenarios in the most efficient way possible. Fighting is the last resort in martial arts. Don't need to lecture a third degree black belt about that. You're still faster than me? As I level up, I feel slower. we learning mega drain we might actually learn that ask for advice yeah screw fairy wind four grass moves do that <sighs> you know bullet seeds a weaker base power i just like for some 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 kind of consistency in how you're choosing to screw over my move sets just some element of consistency please No, stab doesn't get priority. It has to be a priority move. I'm just really slow. I car Roly Coley is not the slowest thing. Oh, maybe. Oh, sorry. You're saying the moves prioritize stab. Oh yeah, yeah, probably, probably. <sighs> it's the worst. It's the worst. What's a consistency? Are rank dropping in Omega Strikers? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you gotta laugh when we you when we're playing last night and Suwako and I get up against Mr. 172 at NA rank, because he's playing with someone who just started the game. Gotta love it. You only went up yesterday? Booyah. Meanwhile, I'm almost back down to friggin' bronze. <laughs> Just hemorrhaging points. My win rate is actually probably sub 50% now, which is the first time in any MOBA I've ever had that. Even in League, I was 51% win rate. I wouldn't climb with it, but, you know, I'm, I'm like, not my highest win rate in any MOBA has been Unite. Unite was at a whopping 59, 60%. Magic, yeah, no worries. Take your time. I'm just grinding up for my Nuzlocke here, so. 
Let me know when you're good to go. I am starting to feel a little ill, though, so if I have to dip before you... Like, not dip completely, but I might be gone for a few minutes to go deal with that. But, uh... Grind for a few more minutes here at the very least. All that for nothing. It's fine, Suwako. I thought we said rank wasn't everything, right? When do we start believing the things we actually say? The only rank that matters should be the rank of our opponents. I know, gold does matter. Yeah, gold gold for the rewards. You're not wrong. Gold gold is the is the standard we're trying to hit to just get you the rewards. And Harry the rewards, obviously. We have we have been getting slightly um throttled with bad matchmaking. Harry made a good suggestion to, like, go check out the Discord and see if it has been addressed. And if not, I have a perfect picture to be like, look, I'm mid-silver and I fought number 172 in NA. Please. Like, this can't... And, and all because they had a mid-rookie on their team. Like, this can't be a way you do. Like, you are not Pokemon Unite. We could do better than this. I understand there's, like, player limitations and stuff like that, potentially, and you just want to get people into games. Because I've noticed that a lot with MOBAs, uh, between HOTS and all that. Like, HOTS a dying game regardless, but... Um, I understand that you want to get people playing and people don't want to sit in queues. I get that too. And I've said before multiple times, I would rather wait in queue four or five minutes, meaning that I get to play against people who I stand a relatively okay and equitable chance at, versus getting in within 30 seconds only to be destroyed in the exact same amount of time, you know what I mean? Oftentimes, when I, when I, when I hear people talk about matchmaking, most people just go like, yeah, well, you know... I keep getting placed with these shitty silvers. I'm like, well, what rank are you? Silver? Well, I get placed with masters, and the masters suck. That doesn't mean that they didn't get to masters in any way, right? At least you're playing against people your own rank. But when I'm in Unite and I'm playing against 16, 1700 masters as a 1200 masters, that's dumb, right? But that's the thing, Harry, is they know that, you know, like Suwako's trying to get the rewards, they should have the chance to get the rewards too. But, naturally... Okay, after this fight, I'll get you in, fake cheese. Set up a set up a room. I'll, I'll take the code from you, and we'll go from there. It's no different than people setting up uh, setting up Smurf accounts, right? So they can play with their friends when they fix it. Like we'll still run into that, but again, at least they'll eventually get out. Is that the code? Is that the room code? Like, eventually they'll get out of our ranks. Right now, we can't escape people who are higher ranked than us. Because as we go up in rank, we're suddenly following these people. That is very good. Okay. Yeah, they can't do anything about Smurfs, right? Like, you just kind of know, okay, these people, even if they're, whether they're Smurfs or not, we'll call them Smurfs to make ourselves feel better, and then move on with our life. Sure. But the moment you actually see, like, oh, God, this guy has credentials, or this, this player has credentials, well, that sucks. I know. Well, we could talk about it in the Discord, right? There's no reason to... We're not influencers of Omega Strikers. So... This would be something to bring up. The more voices that they see, the better it could be fixed. Or if they're already saying they're kind of fixing it, then we go from there, right? Is there a Pokemon that you need for your uh, uh, Pokedex that I might have? I can't believe no one's using this right now. Okay. No problem, then. I only have 10 Pokemon in this account, regardless. Nuzlocke account. Hope you're having a good day, Fake Chief. Let's just confirm that this is actually you, unless your name is Fake Cheese. Are we looking at Gabriel? Okay, perfect. My name is Please Help I Suck because of the Nuzlocke we're doing. Uh, here. Have Monforge. No, I'm not going to give you the Monforge. That's how I get banned. Here, have a, have, have Maroodle for now. Maroodle needs to get out of the dead box. Ooh. Should be dead in that box for a while. Needs a little bit of breathing. 
But yeah, they do need to... Like, like pug groups will always exist. That's just how it's going to be. I don't care about that, but the way you stomp it out is you make pug groups fight pug groups. That's just how it is. Like, if I decide to go play the game... Um, others are having that sound effect, but okay, so it's not just me, thank god. Yep, oh yeah, of course, I'll give it back. Nah. I am an honorable man. I wouldn't even joke about keeping it. Mainly because you're not, like, you're, you're new here, so I'm not gonna, I'm like, you're, you're not someone I know, or I'm gonna be like, okay, this is now my Pokemon, Siwako. No, you'll get it back, no problem. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, okay, I was like, what happened? <laughs> Virus! Virus! Nope, we're fine. Ooh, oh, it looks so good, shiny, too. Damn. Chromatic. Do you want to learn Bullet Punch? Or you can fix this later for yourself. Let's see, what does the game say you want to learn? Oh, you want to lose Swords Dance. That's exactly what the game wants you to do. Um... <laughs> Here, I'll just let you teach to do whatever. Alright, same code? Oh, we can just do the back right good. I haven't traded like this in a while, so. Thank you. Have you been keeping track of like how many it took to get the shiny scissor? Not that it matters, I'm just curious if you did. Some people do. Yeah, like I don't I don't mind like if Yeah, no problem, of course. Glad to help. You caught it. You caught us at a point where we're not done this run yet. Otherwise, I'd be like, "Now nah, we're done with this game for now." But we're just grinding. We're, we're about a level away from uh, from taking this on. Sixteen ninety five. Yep, that sounds like the average shiny hunting experience. That's devotion. I will appreciate from people forever. Units of force, you all are. That comes from a guy who has a lot of patience himself. Enjoy your shiny scissor. Um, but yeah, a lot of games prioritize just getting games going. But pugs, like like pug stomp. If I decide to go play by myself, rank up the platinum, and then I want to queue with Harry and Suwaka who don't play without other people for whatever. Like like no big deal, right? But I'm saying like if we were platinum, silver, bronze, I would fully expect to be placed against a platinum, regardless of. Of, like, if they were, like, they wouldn't be three Platinums, but I would expect to, like, or maybe they would be, right? Because, like, well, one person stands a chance, and then my rank would eventually tank because I'm playing with people, and that's not a bad thing. Or maybe it goes higher because I'm boosting them up. Like, there's multiple ways it could go, but the fact of the matter is it would be equitable in the, in the sense of the top end, right? I don't think bottom end should matter because bottom, well, it, it does matter and it doesn't matter because bottom end rank can still be good because the top end's impact versus the bottom end screwing it up. I usually see that the top end impacts. Like, we had, we when we played against that diamond, actually, Suwako and I, this is not to make ourselves feel better, we actually stood a chance against them, right? Their goalie was really good, but we did score a couple of times, and we stood a chance against the other two who were our rank. So, like, that was actually a fun match because they put the best player in goalie, and the goalie was incredibly good, but it gave us a lot of opportunities to practice like, taking good shots and trying to figure out what they're doing, and they're not just, like, walking up to the net and destroying us 9-0. So, like, it was a fun game. It's just once you find out, it's like, you're kidding me. I'm against number 172 NA. Like, that's when it just sort of takes all the wind out of your sails, going, oh, this feels good. Like, this guy's, this guy's really good, and we're, we're playing well. We're like, okay, well, we did stand a chance, so it's a confidence booster, but it's also, like, a a deflator on, oh, I see, you're, you're bringing up your 8-year-old cousin with someone who's played since Alpha, you know what I mean? 836 for Froakie? Wow. I'm guessing you play Pokemon a lot. Fake cheese. <laughs> Same. We do a lot of Pokemon Nuzlocks on this channel. We also play a lot of randomizers. We usually do randomizer Nuzlocks for Pokemon. We're going to be checking out Infinite Fusion in the next couple of weeks. But we do a lot of charity fundraising and Pokemon on this channel. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. We also have a very lovely community of nerds who like to save up 33,000 points to initiate Propane Nightmare. That was bait. 
Oh. It's that time, chat. It's been three days. You know what that means. Ooh. And ooh, yeah. That's been a fan favorite since we added sound alerts. Can't blame them. Chat, the body's doing stuff. I'm going to have to BRB for a few minutes. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, we're going to be like one or two. I think we have an a AXB candy I can even give, and we should be ready to go to take on the final pieces of this new block. All we have is Mela, Orthworm, and Kofu, and then we're done. That's it. Let's see what this gets me. We're not going to grind up the Skip Loom. We already have six. Skip Loom's a backup for whatever reason if we need it. Oh, we have a rare candy. Even better. Perfect. There we go. Let's fly, uh, so the first thing we're going to be doing is flying over to, I'm just going to make a marker for myself here, we want to go to Kofu, because Kofu is the final fights that we have to take on, we'll see the XP, then we'll take on Mela where we gain no XP, and then we'll take on Earthworm where we get the final XP before we go into Kofu, and we'll kind of take a look at what our team's looking like, maybe bring in less Pokemon, we'll figure this all out once I heal and save and be right back. Chat, you've been wonderful. Thank you very much for a great day so far. See you in a few. Oh, I gotta set up the picnic. Okay, we'll put the full team on now. Uh, yeah, we've set up camp here before. Right over the cliff. You guys can stare at a, at a, at a desert while I take my time to feel better. Desert in my mouth? No, I've been drinking a lot of water. I've got the I've got the rice protein and everything else. So. All right, be back in a few minutes. Enjoy.
Okay, really sorry about that, guys. But we're good. I'm, I'm, I'm better. Welcome to the past two months of my health conditions. That's how it is. All right. So, we have everybody at the right level. We should be good to go. Should be good to go. We're doing Kofu first. So, we want... Water, yeah, we gotta see what's gonna happen in the Oscarot or uh, Florigato. What's your XP looking like? 1600? Let's lead off a sheep. Yeah, let's lead off a sheep. Okay. Whew. Actually, this would be the best day now to experiment with the gluten pasta. I'm in the right spot. Okay, so that means I need to ride off into the Kofu Sunset. I think this emote's giving you too much control, Harry. He's too powerful. I do have one more catch, actually, in the desert as well. I didn't think of that. That is true. I do have to go through the desert to get the car uh, to finish the Karskafa stuff. Shoot. I had a lot more catches than I gave myself credit for in this new block. My bad. No biggie. Playing on hard mode. That's how it is. <sighs> it's gonna hurt for a while. Yeah, man. Hey, Camilla. Right in time. I've been gone for like 30 minutes. What's going on? How goes your how goes your Nuzlocke, Camilla? We're pulling it because we can. Wow. Good on the heels department, we just have to actually be alive for the heels department. You're late, dude, it's like 5 a.m. Also bad, really. All right, so 
Let's go get our catch in Porto Maranata. Or near Porto Maranata in the Asado Desert. Hello, Stonger. Vampy? remembers I am a dead pile of sand. Nobody. So we've learned for next time, as long as we have some levels on us, we could do some good catches here. He's gonna be some extra XP though. Just gotta be careful with that. This might be a mistake actually. Yeah, that's fine. First time this entire run where we've had a full team of six and we've caught a seventh. That goes to a box. Incredible. Wow. <laughs> That's incredible, actually. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? It's got pickup. I'm not going to make use of that. Shiny Hunting a Mastiff? Nice. What color is a Shiny Mastiff? White? Gray? Or is it pink and then it turns gray or white or something like that? I think it's a Bostiff. That is, in fact, a duplicate. One of our first Pokemon to die, in fact. Grayish purple. Well, that one still has Howl. That'd be nice. <laughs> Soft sand for free. Could have saved a lot of money here if I was a little bit smarter. Remember, this place was level 20 area. In a couple of days, I'm still having issues. I'm gonna have to start taking psyllium fiber, which means you'll really see me hydrating in chat, hydrating on stream. Kilowattrel? Kilowattrel? I don't know what level that is. That does it. Oh, that helps actually if it's a good level. Nope, do I? Our level limit is 30. As opposed to Sun Goku. Or, you know, Earth Goku. Uh, I don't think I will have a Dondozo on my team. I don't think this is possible. Then again, this thing could be level 1, right? Uh, hello, Phalanx. What's up? I have a Don Dozo. Oh, he's oh oh he's he's adamant. He's definitely a breed jack. Hey, broken. That's most certainly breed jack territory. With unaware. Well, unaware is fine. Kinda started not really. We have a Don Dozo. We have a backup. It's there. The links. I'm gonna go this way. Thanks. Yeah, I know. I just I for some reason I thought it evolved for something, but yeah, Don Dozo. Is it still popular? 
Is the Tatsugiri Don Dozo combination still like overly ridiculously impressive? Or have people just figured out how to answer it and now everybody's given up on it because that's how it works with Pokemon? Still good, really well. Even with all the Pokemon brought in. Is that a knuckle stack? It is. How's your day going, Broken? I think this is a place I could catch, too. I think we're just gonna save it, though. West 2? Yeah, we could catch him West 2, but we're just gonna save it for now, because... Some of these can be higher level. That's a big Grimer. Is there a good TM on top of the lighthouse? Should consider using these mints. Oh, this do I have hasty and calm? Oh, calcium. Uh, give that to you. Zinc? Oh, boy. Probably you. Did I never give this... I never gave the soft sand to him. Oops. Oh, I gave it to Sandile. That's what we wanted. Uh, give this to him now. Actually, you probably just need soft sand. That'll be your best hit. Yeah. Quick claw. Wise glasses on you. Okay. Modest is good. This is bad for you. You don't need this. You're already losing defense. Might as well give you speed. You're docile. I might want to make you faster with less defense. Speed matter. Speed probably matters. You're quiet. That's okay. You're adamant. You're perfect. You are rash? Can I make you calm instead? Nah. Eh, quiet's fine. Burden, good to see you, man. How you doing? How's your evening going so far? So many cool people in chat. Do it. Excellent. Ah, it sucks. Alright.
Let it begin. The beginning of the end, if you will. Decent. Oh, we all learned Confuse Ray, do we? Oh boy. Ask for advice. Yes! <laughs> I hate it so fucking much. Uh, we could do Parafusion. Or, what if we said we could already Thundershock and get a 10% chance, plus we have Static for 30%. 90% chances are overrated when you have two ways of paralyzing people. Do that! <sighs> it actually hurts a lot. That was my backup if I needed it. That tightens the already tight stomach. Thanks for that. Jesus. Uh, let's actually send you in. Shawnee's evil for this run. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> It's more pain, like, it's... We're still doing okay. It's just really painful to see what this game thinks is good. You know what I mean? That guy's not even clapping his hands. He's actually just clapping air. Oh, you have Smackdown. Now you can't unsee it, he's just clapping here. Yes. Excuse me, murder berserker. There's another angle here we could take in case XP doesn't go our way. Berserker, if we give it an X attack and go for Trailblaze, we can get the speed that way and have plus two attack. With Tough Claws and Adamant Nature, that could sweep. Yeah, Kabu. My bad. I can't help his name is Kofu. I keep thinking of coffee every single time to like Kofi. Thanks for the money. And he runs away with it. Whoa! Oh no, Kabu is great. I love Kabu. He was one of my favorite gym leaders from 8. He's a great design. The Gen 8 in general is just great design with the sports feet. Like, it's, it's biased for me because I love sports, but... I've been Denke. Thirty k 40k. 40k. 50k. Outbid by a 10-year-old. Got him. I'm like 14 in this game or whatever. Okay. It's only one fight. I thought there were two for some reason. Cool. All right. So, now. Now we go fight Orthworm. Or should we fight Mela first because we know we have strong enough... No, we should probably fight Mela first. Guarantee we have our ground types for that. I don't think we're over-leveling too much. But... Actually, I want to lead Sandile. One, two, and three have to be the ones I use. Okay. 
So let's go beat up Mela. Then Orthworm, then Kofu. Hopefully. Let's win this today. And then I'll know what I'm doing after that. I'll see how I'm feeling. Because I'm in hungry. I'm, I'm in hungry and in pain. And that's the worst combination. It's, it's uh, grocery days today. Is groceries day today, too. So we don't have any actual groceries that I can eat currently. Other than pasta, but I'm saving pasta for tonight. I don't want to have pasta twice a day. I think I gotta beat one person up here too, right? It's fine, we have Sand Dial. Alright, let's do it! On my way, Tauros! Respectfully, please don't kill me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, please no. I'm 10 levels higher and I'm still using a Pokedol. You already killed my Sylveon. Somehow. We know how. That was a weird blue thing on my right side. It's probably something sleeping. Ah, it's you! Please help, I suck! <laughs> Please help, I suck! I owe you an apology! <laughs> This name worked out way better than I thought it would. I'm not turning back. Please help, I suck. He's gonna self-defense me to death. Nice. Thanks for the terrible news. I'm going to smile and run away now. No problem, dude. Having a great day. Hey, please help. I suck. <laughs> I'm having more fun than anyone else's. That's okay. That's what matters. Little Armor Rouge. Or, sorry, um... Charlos. My bad. What's this guy named? Charcadet. Charcadet. Charlos. You have to help him. Please help I suck. Oh, okay, well. Yes, I get it, Pen Cassiopeia. Ugh. Just want to finish this challenge. More out of anticipation of seeing how we've kept this run alive than anything else. And let's do it. Flaffy not going to be very useful. Sandal and Sandigash should finish these guys off no problem. Here we go. Yeah.
some leg. Life is getting a little roughed up, but that's okay. Coolest member. They're all cool, let's be frank. She has the coolest looking uh, star mobile, though. I like the red. He's pretty cool. They're all pretty cool. The only one I didn't really get into was Ortega, but his backstory kind of makes up for it. It's not a complicated backstory, but you know what I mean. I don't remember if you have Solar Beam or not, but I'm gonna dig anyways. No, it won't. Oh yeah, the music of this game is spectacular. I'm glad these are the longest fights. I like the Team Star theme too, but they're not long enough fights. Everything's fine.
Sorry. Worst time. I don't know. Are they, are they doing else papers? Yeah, probably then. I don't know. If they're not, it's about to be. See you later, Kami. Yeah, this is this is a boss special. We can't have this, unfortunately. It'd be cool if we could customize one. I don't know, I wouldn't print those off in color either. Yeah, if you want, yeah. This fight's going incredibly poorly. Oh my god. This is the worst case scenario. We're stuck in an infinite loop here. I just need to keep people heal. The problem is I need to have people heal without her using Screech. But that's not happening right now. I need I need both Sandal and Sandy Gas to be healthy. Until she misses a Screech or stops using the Screech or doesn't get a crit, we're good to go. Just giving you more Team Star music. Fuck! Why? Why are you like this? Oh my god. Hate it. Alright, um... I'm gonna Sand Tomb here. Spinny Spinny.
Right, they don't take damage after turns, right. Oh boy. Ah, <sighs> boy. It's gonna take an extremely long time if we can make it out of this. Remember, Sandal and Sandy Gast are meant for this. They're not meant for Kofu. It would be nice to have them for Orthworm. Just to have them. But, uh, not a requirement. Damage! The big advantage of Gen 9 is because my li my rules for items are only limited to what I buy, we can pick up a lot of heals. Because if we were on our current, if we were on our 15 limit and we had to buy all of our limits, we'd be dead by now. We're incredibly fortunate that we can pick up enough heals to like fight these things. But also, like you can see, without these fights, if we get really bad luck, this would have ended hours ago. I've lifted the car off the ground. I'm not sure how I did that. Being burned blows, actually. It actually sucks that we're burned. It's making this so awkward. We're already doing very little damage and then we're just like even lesser damage. Okay, we can actually heal Sandile now, which is great. Not that he gets switch in, but like... Maybe he can? Lemonade heals 70... Slap that man with a can. Alright, here we go. There's a way through this. There is a way through this. Fuck! It's not like that. I forgot it's just status it's immune to, not stat drops. There's no way of upping its attack. That's Ares Starmobile, and hers is the scariest of everybody's. Hers is the hardest one to beat. Absolutely, bar none. Because she could stack speed and attack and defense, and it, or attack and speed, and it becomes disgusting because she has uh, shift gear. Now, crits can still happen. We just have to be cognizant a crit does about 45 with a burn. It's spooky. We just got to keep spamming Growl here. Nice miss. That's free. I'm sorry these fights have to be this way. It's the nature of the team. <laughs> it's just the nature of it all. We have to heal. Yeah, compared to where it is in the game, her team is pretty straightforward. It's not easy, but it's not as hard as it could have been. They really dropped the ball on, on, like, the order of her team. I have no idea why they did it that particular way. But they did. Professor's teams are hard. Oh, Final Team Starfight. Wait, Final Team Star... Oh, are you talking about Cassiopeia's team? 
I think that was the point, though. I thought you were talking- I meant the champion, sorry, I meant Jita, yeah. I don't know, how would they have made Cassiopeia's team- if, if the entire team was supposed to be just evolutions? How are they gonna make that any... harder? I guess pick the better evolutions. <laughs> or give her better movesets, I suppose. I don't know. Again, Pokemon games aren't designed to necessarily be hard like they were with Cynthia or... N... Stuff like that. It would always have to just be better movesets. Sometimes they've done it, it's just not in this game. For Jita, literally all you had to do was swap King Gambit in to come in last and make um, Glamora come in first. And all of a sudden, the fight becomes that much more threatening. Like, that would be even more than enough to make the fight difficult enough. You know what I mean? That's all that had to be. King Gambit last, Glamora first. Then that fight would actually be difficult with Toxic Spikes you have to remove. Which is not hard to do, it's just like, it would catch you off guard first go, you know what I mean? It definitely would get you. Maybe I should have... Terrestrialized there? Maybe? Nah, because we keep getting screeched. At least this time we're going to get damage. Damage! We did it! Wow! Speed drop! Speed raise! It's time. I don't know. That's the thing, too, is Jita doesn't even use knowledge around King Gambit's ability. She's just like, oh, I can get you with the type advantage. By the way, I represent the strength of this region. <laughs> Your grass terrestrialization, that would have been tragic as all absolute fuck. That actually would have been tragic as all shit. Do I have anyone who's healed to switch into? Yeah, I do. I mean, yeah. But I mean, strong Pokemon have been like that before. Roaring Moon, Salamence, right? Like, those those pokes are quad weak. Dragonite, but they have threatening-ass movesets. King Gambit's threat is like, oh, this guy could literally just be plus five. This guy could literally just be plus five attack. It has no speed, so you'd have to kill it first anyways. Chances are you've probably set up and already gotten to a point where you can kill it. But... Like, imagine that you actually had to deal with that, your team was just, like, a casual team, and all of a sudden, King Gambit just friggin' slaughters you at the end. Because you don't play well. But, like, it could have been that way, it wasn't. Missed the overheat. Fascinating. I'm so tired of these burns. I've used way too many heals for this fight. I mean, yes, competitive beast, though. Not a, not a role playthrough. It's not built for competitive players. Legends Arceus was the one for old school people, remember? That was our game. This game is for the kids. Like, hers didn't even need Swords Dance. Hers could have just had, um... Could have just had the ability proc at plus five and make that scary enough. That would have been fine. Don't you do it. Ooh. Interesting. We're not going to get the kill. We're going to barely miss it. Which is fine. We can switch after this. Oh, never mind. We got the kill. Nice. All right. Mela's down. One person left. And that's Kofu to win this challenge. You got the super extended star boss battle music. Yes, Andy Gast. Or make it defiant. Yeah, they could have did that too. There are many ways I could look at. I like I, I that would be a fun project one day. Just look at the way that they built Pokemon, and just make their teams be, um, what's it called? They could just made them like competent for where they are in the game, right? You don't have to make them ridiculous and have perfect movesets, but just make them a little bit better.
Yeah, the sand dial. Carlos? Who is the water type? Is Belly Bolt water? They've always done that with electric leaders, though. Even think about Elisa's team, right? She had two Amolgas on purpose. They had a Volt Switch team. That was one of the that was one of the most screw you comps ever. Two Amolgas and a Zebstrika, all with Volt Switch. It was hilarious. But they've always tried to do that with electric because they know electric literally has one weakness. So they're, they're usually like, okay, let's mix it with types to make it easier. Unless you're Surge, where he just has a Raichu, but Raichu's freaking powerful at that point in the game. Oh, I know, that's what I'm saying. It's just Electric has always gotten that, that treatment where... They just give them huge advantages because they are strong typing by themselves. They have one weakness. It's never been changed. That's not a bad thing. Eater. No, not the air. What is it? It's awesome. That's what it is. It learns decent water, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now for Earthworm. Earthworm Jim is gonna cause a bit of stress. I still don't have anything to fully kill him with yet. We'll check our TMs. I think they made it electric just for the sake of it being electric. Golduck should have been psychic type, and here we are with it being pure water, so... You know, they've done that before. Yeah, TM crafting's banned. Found it too easy. With the amount of free heals and everything, I'm like, I have to give myself some kind of restrictions. So TF crafting is banned. TF TM farming is fine. TM crafting, no. Bad defense. Well, it's gonna be low kick. I guess. Yeesh. Yeah, is it actually just low kick? <sighs> we could do charm on Perserker? What is Perserker known? What would you get rid of for it? Please tell me it'd be payday. Water moves. Isn't it just pure steel, though? There's no good water moves even on me. I don't think I have a water move. Now that you mention, I don't have a water move. Oh, yeah, no. Don't got that. All right, be kind. Let me keep seed bomb. Gets rid of you, turn, of course. <laughs> 
course. <laughs> U-turn replace low kick. Low kick will now replace U-turn. Excellent. <laughs> the circle of life. Oh, Christ, this game. I'm legitimately curious about Charm on Berserker. Can I worry seed it? I could. Actually, I could. That's a good call. Oh my god. Worry seed's gonna get play. This is a very weird run, but you're not wrong. I didn't think of that. We did actually keep Worry Seed. Mayhaps we are doing something correct here. I say it's seldom, Suwako, but you're a genius. AI. <laughs> AI's planned for the beginning. I should have never doubted Scarlet GPT. Damn. It's as if Suwaka was programmed by the very AI that was working for us, not against us, for us. I didn't even think of that. Motherfucker. I'm really out of practice. Not a big deal. We know that I'm out of practice. I can still Nuzlocke well, but... Just not something I would think about, because I'd build a little bit better. What the hell? There are people in here? Oh, hey, Ungus. Yes, you can... Like, you can status them at everything. Titans are weak to everything, to my knowledge, so... Oh, is this actually a dead... I don't think I've ever hit a dead end here before. Beat? What? Okay. I'm going to assume it is a giant hole at the bottom that I was just supposed to go through. These items not exist? What is happening? It isn't here though, right? No, it's not. It's... It's another spot, I just realized. Can I LBLJ it? I don't think I actually can. It's too steep. But this is the wrong place anyways. I gotta go over here. I know I know they tried to, like, distinguish it by calling it RBJ. We're calling it LBLJ. Shoutouts to Mario64. Ow. He's fine. Crydon can take it. Yeah, but do. I think so. I know it's over here. Because you see its head popping out, right? so lost.
Yeah, I'm gonna check the map. I thought I could just do it without the map. Clearly not. Oh, it's gonna be right there, isn't it? Okay, I'm a little off. <laughs> Tied a bit off. No big deal. You know. I am a I am a tough kid. See you later. Feed me. Mama. <laughs> Does it look like he says mama now? Mama. Ma. Ma. Alright, let's do it. Alright, let's go. Son of a bitch. Oh, that's not good. <sighs> that's good. That's less good. If he uses Iron Tail, I'm pretty sure I can be killed by a crit. I just died. Yep. Yep. I knew it. I'm like, I'm just gonna go for it. 6% wins it. Lo and behold, there it goes. And now I don't have insomnia again for phase two. I just didn't want to, I just didn't want to fucking spam super potions again, but clearly my mistake I should have just spam super potions. <sighs> Call it laziness. Sure. Oh my god, it actually has Iron Tail. Hey, officer! What's good? It was one hit away, too. I mean, I guess. Great. That was my Kofu win. Now I don't have a Kofu win without Flaffy. Flaffy's not a Kofu win. Alright, Skip Bloom. <laughs> so done with this run. Do I have another TM that could change abilities? No, I don't think so. Um, what do you even have on you? Oh, nothing useful. Yeah, that's true. That's fair. You are the Flaffy. What's your defense look like? It's good.
I actually can't hit this guy. That's concerning. Holy shit. I have... Very little answers for this thing. Alright. Cool. Good. There's Dago and Officer. Try not to kick myself for just literally taking the one moment to be like, nah! Nah, I'm not gonna stall super potions for chat this time. I still I didn't do it and I got punished for it. Good old Pokemon. We don't have fighting TMs. I've checked. That's true, Arvin can carry us through this one. Nice. There you go. Please help. I suck. I need to take my adrenal SAPs, make a hot dog, and my bitters. Okay, so, the way we're going to do this... Oh, is it actually? That's too late now. X defense... One Pokemon I can use it on. Get him, Toad School. Get him, Toe Man. I'll never call him Toe Man again, I'm sorry. I would have switched too if he didn't wrap. I wasn't going to keep my uh, Florigato in there. I should have just fucking. Whatever. It's dead. It doesn't matter. We're going to be fine here. We have Crunch. Christ almighty. That's with plus two defense, by the way. been the entire run officer is just ouch we have not gotten particularly uh, we've not gotten a particularly powerful this is a vice the advice lock has made things very difficult Heh, I get it No one surprise training. Any, any. <laughs> I got one Slitherwing, but they're too high level. No, man. I've been choked. Help. I'm actually almost going to go down to 15 super potions. Like, I'm at 15 super potions now. Start at 31 before Mela. Hit yourself. Win the face. Punchy, punchy. Beauty. Oh, that's fair, officer. Yeah. Hey, I can switch now. Oh no. Iron? Is it Iron Tail crit time? He missed. I mean, I'm hoping for Yuzu so I can randomize the game, officer. I can't jailbreak this switch. It's my it's my work switch. I don't have a spare switch to jailbreak. All right, XP wise. Crack a rack. Okay. 
Maybe we wouldn't have smarter to get you up to level 29. Whatever. Tons of hasty decisions out of frustration, I suppose. Eh. Why would I want him to jailbreak my one switch? I need a second switch. Or do you mean, like, Gamma's gonna bring me a second switch and you're providing that somehow? Break this policy crime? No. <laughs> no. Funny, but no. Well, I guess we could use Berserker now. Ironically, doesn't Veluza only know water and psychic moves? So, if we can take the hit, we X attack Berserker and spam Trailblaze, we might be able to win this, just with Berserker. He's not going to overlevel either. What does that mean, officer? Yes, but I have Trailblaze. And Veluz is a physical attacker, and Berserker has a lot of defense. So if I can get fast enough to outspeed his second poke and Crabominable with a plus two with with an X attack on him, we should be able to clean up. Or at least do enough damage where everyone else can come in. Because Crabominable has Crab Hammer, Ice Punch, Rock Tomb, something like that. I actually want to meet a Nintendo Ninja, so I'll talk about it more. No, I'm kidding. How? That's doable? Interesting. Well, we know MTG ninjas exist. After they sent, like, the friggin' secret police to attack that one guy who had spoilers, but he didn't even know there were spoilers to even try to get him. There you yeah. Ridiculous. Please help, I suck. Is that a bark? Is this a dog bark? Very sad. Very happy. I want to beat up Kofu now. <laughs> and have a hot dog. Damn you. Stop telling me about how I could jump higher. I saw the I saw the bubble. Uh I have version two. So I think it's an older version. Interesting. Well, officer, come on by, and uh, we'll have breakfast. You sh you set that up. You prevent me from ever... You make it foolproof, or I can't screw up, and uh, we're good to go. Done. Gamma, get the hippo bus. We're heading to the to the Europe's. I had an R4. R4 was fun. And then no one believed me when I got a shiny gold bat in Gen 4. Like, oh, you I hacked it. And I'm like, I didn't hack it. I actually found that. But thanks. All right, we're just doing this. We've got the heals. We're good to go. Ow. I'm gonna cook these bathroom while this elevator goes. I'll be right back, chat.
Okay. The hot dogs are boiling. Let's win this so I can eat. Sorry. I'll get my SAPs when I go upstairs. It's fine. Well, now, please help. I suck. Hopefully, for the last time. Am I ready? Are we ready, chat? It's not a big countdown, but if I recall, he has three Pokemon. Prepare thy emotes. It is time. Let's try and win this. I think we're going to be okay, but you know, stranger things have happened. Big Dad Energy. What we'll do is we'll use a Trailblaze first. Maybe? Hmm. Hmm. I don't think Veluza is going to one-shot us. Let's do it. No, that's all right. It's not its evolved form. It's just its basic form. Okay, so we're going for the X attack. I think we're going to be okay. Ow. That's one. Not good. We don't want to super over mega level here and lose all of our team. Oh, Jesus Christ. Am I going to super over mega level? That's two. Let's see. Who's left? Gooey? Oh, that's kind of shit. We're still at plus one speed, though, and Crabot is not fast. Oh, my God, here it comes. Okay, everybody's still good. Okay, question. The terrestrialization comes before I attack, right? Like, he's going to turn into a water type if I'm faster than him? I can't remember, because I think what happened on Iono was I used Sucker Punch. 
but because it failed, she transformed? I don't get how it works. He turns Turnstar, so he'll become a water type, then I attack, right? That's how that works? So, like, I'm going to be hitting as a water type, not as a not as the nice type. No matter what. Even if I'm slower, or even, or even if I'm faster, rather. Always max prior for turn. Thank you. Trailblaze. Okay, good. My Pokemon go rock the boat. My cat's gonna scratch it right up. We're not terrastalizing on the off chance we actually need our terrastalize. Alright, crab boy. Time to die. Crab hammer. Rock smash. Oh, shit. Okay. That's a crit. Beautiful. Thanks. Thanks for that. Okay, he's slow, though. Is he gonna heal? Does he heal? I guess if he does, he'll get hit by a... If he gets hit by an Electro Ball. Oh, and a Quick Claw. GG. Oh my god. This run was pulling teeth. Woo! One final piece of advice. Do we learn hypnosis? <laughs> I'm so I'm going to get my fucking odd dog. Whatever, man. What the fuck ever.
Okay. Uh, really quickly, chat. Do that. We've won. I need to go help my mom with the groceries, so we're gonna do a really abrupt, like, GG, we won the advice lock. Um, I think we're just gonna call stream here. We'll be back probably tomorrow for a little bit. Maybe we'll do another Rogue and Randomizer day and uh, go from there. We got our, we got our Ampharos. Hold on while it's evolving here. <laughs> started throwing refrigerated stuff at me, so I'm like, I have to go. Oh, we got a little Thunder Punch, though, guys. Wait. What do you think is best? No Confuse Ray. Okay. <sighs> oh, my... I need to go. I need to go. <laughs> uh-huh. Come on. Not learning moves? Incredible. But yeah, we'll be back maybe tomorrow uh, for a little bit of stream, and then we'll go from there. Easy peasy. Thank you for joining me. I hope everybody had enjoyed. I'm glad we were able to beat this. It was a very tight, very difficult run. Thank you to Shawnee for the idea. Um, we might... I don't want to say skip the June new block. We'll do a new, we'll do another new block rotation, and if I can get it done in June, we will. If not, then we don't. We'll just take it as easy as we can, and um, we'll just kind of do it like the when we can get to it, we can get to it. But like, I do want to still get one new block a month. I'm just not overly sure with my schedule and stuff like that what it's looking like. So we'll make that work and just go from there. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I gotta go. Uh, I don't know who I'm raiding into, so disperse and find people you love and i'll talk to you at some point make sure you join the discord bye hero bye hero uh make sure you join the discord to keep up with everything and yeah tell everybody about the charity next stream will most likely be a charity stream because we're just working through that remember you want to keep it going we got to get more we got to get at least 675 to get another game in Either randomized or if you guys donate for something. Otherwise, we'll be going from there. We'll have a couple of things that you could donate towards. We have all the prices that are happening. And yeah, uh, have a wonderful night. Take care. See ya. Peace.